Actually, I have a. Um, I need to ask you about a trick that I thought of. I have my mega pipe. Um, this is for hypothetical uh, for druids. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to uh, do something with um, your herbalism kit, you know, like make um, a vaccine or a, a, an antidote, but you don't have a specific type of um, herb or flower that's used to create it. Okay. But you have access to druid craft. Okay. Which could, but which if I remember correctly, you could make like some sort of herb or plant life. Druid craft, yeah. Um, so with herb, so you could, as long as you have knowledge and have seen the herb that you needed, you can use druid craft to create it. Huh. I would have to look into that, but that definitely sounds reasonable based on your description. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Although there were, there would be some other conditions to apply to that. Mm -hmm. Like the person would have to have proficiency with herbalism kit, obviously. Okay. And proficiency with medicine and nature checks. No. Because knowledge of medicine, knowledge of plant life. <clears throat> yeah, I would have to uh, send a reminder for that, and I'll look more at that. But if that's something you ever wanted to run, then I can think about it or look at it in advance. Yeah, it's just that Garmore's not proficient with medicine yet. <laughs> well, you can get there. It's fine. Um, we are live. So I didn't actually tell you guys that. Oh, jeez, um, Justin. That's okay. My phone let me know. Yeah, I'm glad to help. Uh, all right, so hello and welcome, heroes, to the Crit Academy. I am your dungeon master, Total Dumas. Ha, ha, ha. Get it? Oh, Dumas, yeah. Dumas. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I love it. Oh, um, I'm really excited. It's been a while. I was really, really sick with the flu, so we missed a couple sessions of um, our descent into Avenus that I now realize... I think I spelled wrong on uh, this screen, so I should probably fix that. Flew him like a truck. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Good. <laughs> um, but I'm back and we're. I'm okay now. There, I fix, fixed it. <laughs> I don't know how I fucked that up. Yeah, you know. Um, but anyways, um, so now I'm good. We're back. It did create a little bit of uh, messing up my flow, but that's life. Uh, we are running Descent into Avernus. <clears throat> it is worth noting that this is in fact. Um, I have changed it quite a few things up just because one of my players has the book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember a whole lot. Two, actually. Anymore. You got it now, too? I never actually read it. I don't remember. <laughs> really See matter. what he did. I appreciate that. Then why did I buy this if you already had it? Because you probably wanted it yourself. And I offered it to you. And you still said, no, nah, I'll just get my own. But he said. So not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Same I forgot to bring? What's that? My copy of the Descent Tyranny of Avernus? Dragons. <laughs> you got Tyranny of Dragons? Yeah, my parents got it for my birthday. Oh, as a surprise. oh yeah, he got like, the, uh, the, the, the double, double copy. copy. Oh, yeah. yeah. With yeah. All, the, all the corrections. Yeah. Because I don't know if anyone noticed, knows, but Horde of the Dragon Queen was actually written before the rules were finished. Yeah, it, was it shows. Not, <laughs> right. It shows horrifically I, hey, I sometimes. Think, I think it was the Cobalt Press team. I think they did a pretty good job. No, yeah, it was still good. Yeah, like, no, you're wrong. So, like, the campaign was fun, but, I mean, admittedly, it was just like some of the sometimes. Yeah, if you tried to go right by, the, like, the, the, the stat blocks and everything, it definitely was a bit of a, a challenge. That being said, uh, I'm really excited for today. Um, before we get started, each person's going to go around. We'll have you guys introduce who you are, one interesting thing about your character and their name and all that jazz. Um, so let us start with you, Ian. Well, as Justin said, I'm Ian, and I'll be playing the human artificer, Merle Bronson. Hell yeah. And he, okay, let's be real here. He totally uses guns. They're not guns, but they're totally guns. <laughs> they're not guns, <laughs> but they're definitely guns. <laughs> I'm not too much of a stickler on that thing. I think that, uh, <clears throat> shit can work in the world of magic and wishes. So literally we can summon demons from the, the nether realms. Why can't we have uh, something that is a thunder cannon for your hand? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> but uh, wait, is what's... there anything interesting about Merle? I said the interesting thing. <laughs> oh, I wasn't actually listening. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, would you like to go next? Uh... Uh, sure. I am Austin. Uh, you've probably seen me on the show occasionally. <laughs> now regularly, right? Now regularly. Um, Thank and you, by the way. Yeah. It's been, a, it's been a fun ride, honestly. Um, but 
I am playing Zorax, and he is a Scourge Azamar Void Walker Paladin. That was a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> That's what she said. And then um, <laughs> she wishes. Oh. <laughs> okay, I walked into that trap. Yeah. But uh, That's one, I guess the interesting thing about him, uh, well, I guess you can say two right off the bat. is One, he's part of the Flaming Fists of this campaign, which is like the police... <laughs> Militia. Giant air quotes, police force <laughs> of this uh, campaign. And he wears a faceless mask, so it's like flat, and, and he has a black veil behind it, so that way you can't see his eyes. And he has a big, long, red ponytail, because he's edgy. And that's it. <laughs> Very cool. All well, right. well his player is actually an edge boy sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, huh? I was like, I'm pretty sure that switch is just stuck on. <clears throat> no, it's broken. It doesn't come back <laughs> off. All right. And, so, uh, my name is Matthew, and I play Chiron, the Tiefling Paladin. Uh, he uh, was vengeance raised Paladin. in... Yeah, Vengeance Paladin. Thank you. Um, he was raised in a temple of Bahamut, um, and he's been traveling around the world um, uh, after some things happened with his past. Uh, after well, nothing too dramatic, but things happen. <laughs> he says nothing too dramatic. Someone died. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a big deal at all. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, it, it's no biggie. I'm just searching for a guy who literally killed my master, who was so, also his master. Who <laughs> does anybody want to give a, a quick rundown summary of what happened last session? Well. Well, we were recruited by <laughs> this guy's character. Oh yeah, um, or or, we, or should I say, or should I say, Zorax. conscripted? No, nah, we. Yeah. 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 Oh no, better yet, Shanghai by him. Nah, I conscripted you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I said, hey, there's pay in it and liberties. So there was a panic crowd going on. Uh, we were dragged by him to um, help this out. Is dragged. I walked. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, so we together. were brought to uh, uh, calm the crowd, and upon our arrival, we see this woman with her sword drawn in defense against the flaming fist, which is the people he works for. Presumably in defense, I want to say. We don't know for sure. It's probably in defense, but... <laughs> <laughs> I know how these things go. It was in defense, but... we. T- and so we were ordered by, what was it, uh, the lieutenant or the captain to find and apprehend the woman who escaped? The, the captain Okay, us to do that. Captain Zaj. Oh, yeah. nice. Big I, man I Zaj. I just tell you I appreciate your note-taking skills <laughs> very much. That in combo with my memory of, of things like this. Uh, yeah. I do not have that. <laughs> Me neither. Um, and then uh, we meet Zorax's lieutenant named Dungren, who is like... <laughs> Dunger Buff Elf. <laughs> That's his sub race. He's Buff Elf. Because <laughs> everyone always expects, you know, a tiny, slender elf man, but no, this is, <laughs> this is Buff Elf Dungren. He's like, all right. How's it going, Zorax? You feel the paperwork? We don't file paperwork. <laughs> You're right. I was just testing you. Good time. <laughs> and so, yeah, good time. um, got a good time. After. She escaped, uh, got ambushed by a... Um, by some pickpockets. By a pickpocket with ninja stars. Um, we fought uh, ninjas. <laughs> Literal ninjas. Basically, it, you were trying to track her down, and you lost her and got ambushed instead. Yeah. By ninjas! <laughs> and then later, after um, the leader of the trio that attacked us was, was arrested, we okay. got to... Uh, what was it? Tavern? Tavern? The tavern. I'm trying to look up the na- lantern. Oh yeah, lantern. the uh, broken lantern, something like that. Was the broken lantern? I don't no, know. No, it's the uh, low lantern. Low, low lantern. lantern. The low lantern tavern. Um, to low meet up with uh Lieutenant Dungren. Yeah, we, we gambled. gambled. Yeah, we gambled. I lost a well, lot of money. These two gambled. <laughs> I lost so much money. <laughs> I made a lot of money. <laughs> you made a lot of money. I made. I lost. Um, they gambled. Uh, I spotted that someone was cheating. I only lost like 300 gold pieces. It's whatever. <laughs> Although, wasn't 100 of them by the pickpocket? Oh, yeah. Ooh, my belt feels lighter. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I lost 200 by gambling. And then so, I paid 25 for the. And then the, eventually, the, the woman we were looking for approached us because we paid an info broker to look for her. 
I paid the intro bro- broker to look for her. <laughs> right, whatever. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm the leader. I take responsibility for these ch- children <laughs> that are older than me. So, um, older than me. while you were... Wait. <laughs> What happened when you were leaving the Little Lantern? Uh, the info broker found us, and they're like, "I have the information for you." Or no, and she, the one person we were looking for, found us. Yes, she, she found us. The info broker told them to yes. get to us. That's right. Just Other like way around. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then she offered us to uh, divulge her um, information that she has um, at a discreet location of her choice, mm-hmm. and so we agreed. Uh, with her and just let her lead us the way. Do you know her name? Uh, we never asked. He's like, oh, that's important. Yes, that <laughs> you're, is important. Unfortunately, um, you're not going to find out now. Ha ha! So, um, <laughs> so at this point, uh, you guys have met with this um, you know, cloaked figure with uh, red hair and... and uh, oh, we have similar <laughs> hairstyles. Yeah. Very Similar young. Taste. Isn't very your character married? Look. Yes, he is. <clears throat> yeah, what are you <laughs> macking on the young teenagers or what? No, I'm just saying, oh, we have similar hair. Um, she's, uh, I didn't know that. She has a full cowl over her head. She's got kind of a, a darker brown skin, red hair, and kind of a bit of a, a little bit of a gaunt gaze, right? Mm. Um, and she asks, um, she turns to you, I don't remember what voice I gave her because it was too damn long ago. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, who cares? Um, Make one up. She says, um, that's what happens when the flu hits you hard. Yeah, right. She says, you will come with me then. Wait, it, shit. Did we agree you were looking for her? We were looking for her. Right? Yeah. The info broker found her. Yep. Sent, sent her, to, her us. to us. and Because uh, you were looking for her. Yeah. And she offered um, to divulge some information that she had uh, regarding mm, yes. uh, Grand Duke Ravenguard. Or, yep. Yep. Okay. We're good um, now. I don't remember that. I got back on. I got back on track. See, it's hard because I changed some of the stuff. So it's like, well, what this is telling me is not what I did. Oh. <laughs> so it's throwing me off a little bit and confusing me. Remember um, to take notes. Well, I have notes. I just can't read my writing, and most of it's just combat <laughs> notes. So that's fair. Uh, the notes uh, say. I got Buff Elf Durgan. <laughs> Buff Elf Durgan. 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 Durgan was pretty good too, though. Uh, oh, anyway, yeah. so. Um, she gonna... says, uh, so she pulls you guys off to the side into a, a dark alleyway, and she says, um, I hear you are seeking for me. I have some information that it may be of import to you. But why is it you seek me to begin with? We were, well, he was ordered. I mean, I was ordered, yeah. <laughs> I see that. I see your crest. You are all Right, it's on my mask. <laughs> yeah. Those flame fists are hunting me down for foolish reasons. Sure, I stabbed that guy, but he deserved it. Uh, I that, probably but agree. But that's him, illegal. <laughs> <laughs> In the city he of probably. Baldur's Gate, I was gonna attacking ask, in defense I was gonna be least of the concerns. Of, I was going to say, I was going to say that as well. Probably deserved it, admittedly. So, For that. But that's neither here nor there. I just want some help. All I wanted was some help. I brought the refugees here from El Torel and just to be assaulted and mistreated by the flaming fist. These guys? Yeah, you. Yeah. She looks at you kind of dark eyed. That guy yeah. just arrived at the scene when that was happening. You don't know what okay. I've done. <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that you're working for them. Hey, I got dragged into this because of him. Uh, well, they're lackeys. You have to understand. So am I. You can't take me back with him. Okay. Why shouldn't I? I just want some reason. I've got important work to do here. Well, and your captain was not being very cool. helpful. Okay. Uh, what do you know that what do you know that would require the captain to try and get you? I believe I'm sure you've overheard what has happened to El Torral. It's Somewhat, yeah. Vanished. Yeah, it's kind of missing from the map. <laughs> Something happened to the companion. It was the strangest thing. It went from this beacon of hope to this dark black something with chains that ripped out and pulled Eltera right out of the ground. And I believe. I'll admit, I have not 
seen that. <laughs> I believe that the high overseer knows something about what happened and that he escaped here to Baldur's Gate. The high overseer's here? I believe so. Who is the high I have overseer? Here, I have to oh, very no. higher... I, I have very reliable sources that say that <clears throat> he is working with the, the Van Vamper clan. You know, the Dukes. One of the Dukes. He really escaped here? I believe so. Who are you I need to find him. The high talking? overseer. That's kind of big news. How do you even slip in? Without being how, noticed. How did he escape from a city that was dra dragged into another dimension? Weird. That, that okay. sounds suspicious. I mean... He knows something. And I tried to explain this to your foolish captain. Yeah, yeah, I agree. All he cared about was keeping us out because we're different. There's no room for us here. Hmm. Tried to get us to pay for a stupid wall. I wish, I wish you could see Zorax's face, but he's like clearly un, did there. he's clearly uncomfortable because he said you said the term different, and obviously he's different because everyone's like, ah, oh, like you're too, <laughs> like you're you're still happy at the end of the day, and like obviously it's kind of ostracized him here and there, but like so it's like you can't see it, but like he's obviously like frowning. He's like, ah, oh, I know how that feels. I lean over. That's to, probably why I lean over to Zorax. <laughs> Who's the high overseer? A uh, guy who's kind of very important. He was in Elturel, right? So he was actually the guy running Elturel. Yeah. So yeah. some time ago, and um, <clears throat> you guys aren't exactly sure when, but the Elturel was under siege and taken over by a vampire lord. Mm -hmm. And Elturel swooped in with this powerful um, thing it's like called... like Radiant Sun thing. Yeah, <laughs> like called the Companion that was able to deal with Purge. the vampire. Purge, yes. Good, good word. Uh, purge the purge vampire, the vampires, uh, yeah. infestation. And it was then he, crazy. He be, kind of became this leader of this this, <laughs> this city. And since then, Baldur's Gate and its dark yeah. habits don't go well with something like El Torao that's this considered holy sort of city. Which is why it's strange that he had to run here to begin with. But yes, you know. well, and she uh, she notes to you that you know uh, there were reports that. The art, the shit, what's his The Grand Duke. Ravenguard? Yes. Was actually in El Terrell to meet with the, the, the High Overseer. If that's the case, why isn't the Grand Duke here? If so, they were supposed to meet in El Terrell. So the Overseer's somehow here and the Grand Duke's not. Yes. Now, do you not think that's suspicious? I think that's extremely suspicious, because... Then why wouldn't your captain listen? Because he's an idiot. I do not disagree. <laughs> I mean, I agree with both of you, to be honest. <laughs> I work for the guy. I know he's an idiot. And I don't know necessarily that it was his fault. If that guy wouldn't have attacked, he may have listened. But one, He right. became very stubborn once I stabbed that gentleman. Eh. Who deserved it, to be honest? I mean, I believe you. Again, <laughs> I work for these guys. What's it, something racially offensive? Eh. Isn't it always? Uh, Fair point. <laughs> you, you're in Baldur's Gate, son. <laughs> um, so Everyone hates everyone here, for one reason so or another. So she turns to you and says, and I'm <clears throat> seeking help. I believe that the overseer is in the Van Fimper's villa. The problem is, is I cannot get in. And she looks at you, but you might. As she points to the, the, the insignia on, oh. your, on your mask. There's 20 hmm. plus guards just on the outside. I cannot sneak in. Are they personal guards or are they flaming fists? Uh, they are from the watch. Fuck. The watch? <laughs> Guys, I don't like to personally talk to. So you've got the flaming fist, I know which are basically the, like the police, the, and then you've got more like thug police, and then you've got the watch, which are like, like the actual police. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but there's fewer of those, right? And they're probably well trained, admittedly. And she says, because it's in the upper towns, I do not have the resources to bypass, and they certainly will not let me in. Hmm. That is why I was seeking out in. Yeah, seeking out Amric and the other uh, Van Timpers who often visit this locale. We'll definitely have to check it out. I mean, with information like this, we kind of have to. Seeking out who? Uh, Amric. Amric Van Thumper. 
it's one of the fan flippers, which is somebody who she believes is in cahoots with with the overseer. Yeah. The okay. overseer's name is Krieg. Thavius Krieg. Thavius Krieg. Oh, well, that thing. I have the name Thavius, but I didn't uh, have his title on yeah, here. He's the I overseer. didn't catch that. Okay. I don't know if I had said it before or not. So apparently you must have because you wrote it down. <laughs> Admittedly. I got Fabius, but just didn't connect the overseer okay. part with him. So uh so you guys basically have an option a couple options right now. You can take her to your captain, which is what you're supposed to be doing. Um, or you can listen to what she has to say and escort her to the villa and see if you can gain entrance to find this overseer. Because really, you guys know that the city is gone. Nobody yeah, knows literally the, gone, the city gone. is gone. <laughs> and so if there's any evidence of that, because everyone fears the that average, Baldur's Gate Baldur's is next. Yeah. next. So if there's any information that can be recovered or gleaned from that, you're probably going to want that information. But that's up to you guys as the characters. What is your character's priorities? I'd say we help her get some information. We don't know what happened to Elturel, and the fact that the Overseer is here and the Grand Duke of well, Baldur's Gate... she said some, she believes. Right. She doesn't know for sure that he is. She was seen with several of the uh, Van Tamper's guards. So she assumes it's here. I'm going to admit. <laughs> so I want to make sure that that's clear. She doesn't say for certain. Yeah. It's, she, her rumors believe. Yeah. Believe her, her, her. You over there? You okay over there, buddy? I'll be fine. I sleep. Well, traditionally, I would take you to the captain. But I'm going to be honest. You see her hand kind of shift to her blade. But I'm going to be honest. I only joined the Flaming Fists because I had nowhere else to really go. And this was the safest option at the time. I worked for the Old Guard, where there was a little more order around here. Personally, I don't really care so much for our new captain. So I'll believe you. What about what you? What about you? We'll see where this goes. <laughs> He's in it for the fun. <laughs> fun? Does this look like fun? No. My home is gone. Uh, and you phrase. make jokes? <laughs> this is not fun. The few that are left are being treated and beaten down by your company and being cast out. Why? Because their home was destroyed? It wasn't I, their fault. Are you really arguing with people who said they were to help you? <laughs> Offering help and still not understanding the situation? There's important, it's important to understand the situation. This isn't a joke. It's not a game. Lives are on the line. It's also important not to bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> also, you can see her kind of twitching when she wants to. She wants to draw a weapon on. You. At right. least you had a home. I had to survive here, I'm and I made that. my peace. And here I am now, off the backs of the weak. I assume. She says, anyway. I was weak at one point, too. Guess who became strong instead? So, <laughs> if we're going to do this, we need to come up with a plan. The longer we wait, obviously, the more risk we have of if the Overseer is in the villa. The yeah, he'll be gone. He might run away to somewhere else. <clears throat> so, I guess the next question is, is how do we want to do this? Uh, well, I see what you did there. <laughs> I thought you appreciate the critical cool reference. Well... I can probably get us through the front door, admittedly. It's getting past the front door that's a little bit questionable because, as far as I'm aware, the Watch and the Flaming Fists really don't get along super well. From what I remember, <laughs> things might have changed. And yeah. maybe since I'm part of the old card, maybe they'll respect me just a tiny bit more. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how far that gets me. Did Zaj give you guys anything? Or was it just a command? Command. Just a command. Okay. If he gave me some, I would have been maybe a little more in line to get Sender back, but no, nah, he just gave me a command, and let's be honest here. Okay. Baldur's Gate's not about command. So what do you guys want to do? You guys want to head right to the villa? Do you want to do any prep? Do you want to wait? Because it is late at night. I was going to say, we should... Well, if I say if we take a long rest, I mean, that wastes time. But also, well, I mean, I'm full health. I only lost one spell slot. I don't know about you guys. Uh. It is pretty late. Do you want to adjust the temperature on that heater so it's up so it stops going on and off? Well, I guess also we don't want to suffer a level of exhaustion. True. That's another thing. 
That's not a guarantee you can make a save against that. I mean, that's true. And I, what, isn't it like five for the first save? Whatever the hell I decided it. <laughs> that's a fair point. <laughs> uh, uh, I'd say we do this in the morning. Do you feel comfortable with that? I do not know. You could escape. I do feel like we should press on. And there might be more guards, and it might be harder to get inside and do what we need to during the day as well. Mm. But, like I said, I cannot do this without your assistance. That's fair. I didn't really think about more guards and being more competent people of there. Of course probably. you didn't. Anyway. I don't expect much more from that, you than that. I miss my hate this chick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stab her one day. <laughs> but not right now, of course. The minute that we don't need her anymore... She really does there not, might be a body. <laughs> she really so, does not understand the concept of don't insult the people who said they would help you. You get the sense of a glare <laughs> coming from Chiron. I didn't say check. it out loud. Give me an insight check. What the heck? Everyone. That was me being a player. Six. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Uh, insight. Fifteen. Seven. Um, so you feel like the emotion that she's betraying, the attitude, is coming from a place of despair. But you wouldn't be surprised. Her entire city is gone. So you suspect that the way she's behaving might be tied more to the fact she's upset. She's just kind of lashing out more yeah. than personal attack. That's fair. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so uh, did you guys decide if you're going to go <laughs> wait in the morning or go right now? I mean, I'm good for either or. I'm. That's not really an answer. Yeah, I know. No, that's good now. Hmm? Let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. Let's do it. Let's just do it now. Hey, we'll head out now. It means a lot to me. I know that you're probably tired and exhausted from a long day of beating down my... Go, my, go ahead. My Keep kid. going. It fuels my <laughs> erection. Tell me how many people I've killed today. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, because man. I want to know one day if I get to add one more to it. Did it make you feel any better? <laughs> he and I were ambushed by a bunch of pickpocket thief kids. Yeah. Why would that make me feel better? Is you? Are you <laughs> I was gonna say that. How does that make are, you? Are you comparing your getting pickpocketed to the loss of thousands and thousands of lives and armed. the entire an entire civilization essentially? <laughs> they were armed, and we were not having a good time. Shall Captain. we just continue? We we slide. need to continue. <laughs> um, so, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to think of this from her perspective. I'm like, man, it would suck. Yeah, like, it's for that pretty to happen, shitty. And then come to the only city that can help, well, and they don't fucking want, and they don't want you. They're no, trying to yeah. keep you out and shit. It's horrible. Um, it's almost like mistreating people that need help is a terrible thing to do. Yeah, who, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed, right? Who would have guessed that the um, one mistreating them is also one of so, the players? <laughs> um, unless <laughs> there's anything you guys specifically want to do, she's going to lead you through the streets of um, Baldur's Gate. Please give me perception checks. I really wish I was trained in perception, but my background didn't really allow it. Wow, I got a six, guys. Holy shit. Eight, 18. 11. My hair was getting in front of my face. <laughs> I didn't see shit. I got a six. <laughs> 18. Um, so as you guys are, are, she's got you running down these uh, streets. The smell is horrendous. It smells like urine and shit everywhere you go. Um, there's constantly... Not too surprising. There's constantly screaming and yelling going on. But as you pass an intersection... You you happen to 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 hear a kind of a, a whimper, and as you're passing a small alleyway, you peek over and you see a uh, young girl kind of huddled down, um, almost in the fetal position, with a gang of like three young children standing over top of her, kicking her. I continue. You, you didn't say nothing. Oh it's, well, it's okay. <laughs> it's up to him if he just I was gonna to say I'm lawful evil. I wouldn't care to begin. With. <laughs> you have no fucks to give. No, our show may not be suitable for young children. Uh, young children not suitable for young children. Well, hey, right. So this is all up to you. How yeah. you, if you did, decide to do anything with that information? Boy, arcing focus fire ray, ray of frost above the wall <laughs> above, the, above their heads. Um. So you 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 release this from your gun. Yep. Um, you release your ray gun. A burst of ice smashes into the wall, and it turns to it turns to like an icy frost. And the the, the young children yelp. They go and they turn and say, "What do you want, stupid?" I just fired magic at you guys, and you turn around and you call me stupid. He gives you the finger. 
They're like, yeah, whatever. They spit on the ground. <laughs> what do you old people know? Let's get out of here, guys. It's like she hasn't got anything else anyway. And they start walking away, and you see this young, probably nine-year-old girl that just got her, the shit kicked out of her by a group of young thugs um, mm. whimpering on the ground. I did my part. You what? I did my part. Oh, uh, you just keep on. You just <laughs> keep on. So, uh, hey, you did it. <laughs> so um, you just keep on uh, walking, and you know she uh, might follow us one day. I careful. No. I approach um, uh, our guide and. Uh, say the name is Rhea. Thank Lady you. Rhea. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I know what you were talking about. Oh, uh, hell. Was that where you were going? Well, uh, yeah, I was gonna ask her name. Okay, that, that was actually, I meant to mention that earlier and I didn't. Did you ask <laughs> anything else? Uh, no. <laughs> Are you not gonna help that young girl? I just did. She's not being beat up anymore. She takes a deep breath and she kind of walk, walks out and she pulls out a, she pulls open her cloak and pulls out a, a nice size dagger. And she walks over to the young girl. She says, you are strong. Don't let anybody mistreat you ever again. And she ha- pushes the dagger in her hand and gives her a small satchel of coins. She says, hmm. get out of this town if you can. I know there's not many places to go, but a girl your age should be able to find something. Uh, buy, purchase a guide. Leave. And then she gets up and joins you as you guys start. She starts leading you back through the um, through the uh, city. Um, and as now that you're kind of aware of this, you see a lot of this stuff as you guys are going through. There's little skirmishes, people pinning oh, yeah. people up against the the walls, fighting, uh, threatening. This is kind of the norm. The more you you walk through this city, you're well aware of it. That's why I'm, we do. I did like here we go again. Right. It's not uncommon though. It is heartbreaking. Um, Are we implementing the Azure Crows in this campaign? Not yet. Well, if I find well, Rand, I'm like, gonna have to kick his ass. Like <laughs> the events. Yeah, I would say we could. Why? I was just just to integrate the world. That's a question I've been wondering right? for a while. No reason not to. I mean. Well, I actually have a note in the Google Doc about some of the points that I wanted to make on that, Ooh. but I hadn't actually considered how far the time frame has been. Yeah, so we never right. really keep it kind of close. Yeah, so. we never really discussed that. Uh, during that was our house. that was our storm. That was our storm. Uh, storm King Thunder campaign. Yeah, yeah we're gonna try to incorporate some of that. Especially stuff. since we're streaming, let's try to stay on topic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yep. No, oh, man, don't change the way we play just because there might be people watching. That's not us. We're not making a production out of this. We're playing our game. Yeah, we're not critical role. Yeah. No offense, guys. No, we're we're gonna play our game, and then if people happen to like watching it, great. If you don't, nah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> but this is just something I decided to do. Yeah. So I'm not gonna change the way I run, which I do tangents a lot. Yeah. Because I have the attention span of a gnat. That being said, just being um, generous. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are making your way through the the dark alleys, twisting and. You're, you're going through for an hour at least. Uh, I'd say probably a good 45, 50 minutes um, before you come to this uh, uh, stately stone edifice with, um, you see a detached uh, stable house. Um, and this thing is just pretty ginormous for what you would expect somebody to have in a city this, this full. Um you have noticed that you've gone kind of from the slum area to the much more ritzy area. The buildings have gone from being broken down, run down to actually having structure and not having too much graffiti on the walls. And they are relatively <laughs> arguably nice for this sort of city. Interesting. Um, the outside you can, uh, as you guys approach probably about, I'd say a hundred, 150 feet or so you can see guard just dozens of guards. I'm um, wandering the the camp. It smells like grass here. She uh, Rhea, you got a problem with grass? <laughs> no, but I can smell it. And it's weird. <laughs> Rhea approaches and says, um, <laughs> "That right there. Do you see? That's not even all of them. That's just the ones that are on the outside. This is why I cannot get in to look for the overseer." You know, admittedly, I forgot how many are actually in the watch. I forgot there was this many of them. 
Yeah. But I guess in this time of need, there, there has to be quite a few. I'm assuming correctly that antagonizing them is the last thing we should do. Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to vote a yeah. I, I would agree with that. There's dozens. You? You think? You've been pretty quiet, aside from shooting walls. It worked. Hardly. <laughs> I think it worked pretty good. <laughs> well. So what is the plan? How do we want to do this? We want to walk right in the front door. We probably could with your. I was gonna say. I mean, we could probably talk to the guards. I could probably try and get us through the front door at the very least. I mean, we just explain to them that we have information with you being here and about what may have been. What information is that? About the whole El Terrell being gone. We might be able to find some way to get. Do you think if they're hiding the overseer? No, uh, I guess you're right. They're gonna to want to share that information, and you. With your horns and your what color is your skin? White. Your white and your tail. You think they're just gonna welcome you? No. Nah. You look like you came right out of the nine hells. Hmm. Why? And they're gonna probably wonder why the hell you're even. We're even wandering with the, these weirdos. I got dragged into it. That I can understand more better than you. Better than you know. <sighs> so, how do we want to do this? Do we want to go through the front door? Do we want to try to sneak in? Do we want We're to bribe our way in? What is the what is the plan? How are we going to get in to see if the overseer is in there? Front door is fine. Front door. Front door. Doing it the classic way. Oh my god, I'm going to get killed. Yeah, you know, we'll see you in the nine hells if you do. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh gods. Yeah, There's gods. More than one. More than one. <laughs> well, I guess if you're only praying to one. Yeah, but you know they all exist, so. Oh uh, yeah, I guess you're uh, right. All right, so... um. So you guys start making your way up there, and you see these um, collection of these guards. They're wearing um, like a, a heavy blue with like um, a dark uh, or a, a heavy dark blue with like a, like a copper lining. Um, they look very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly, they're much better dressed than the flaming fist and well more well armed. Yeah. Um, as you approach, you see there's uh, lanterns that surround the outside of these. Um, probably 10 foot hall, tall or so of uh, um, gates mm -hmm. and two guards are sitting there side by side um, at the main entrance and um, they turn and say Holt why have you come? We have with a lawyer here at this matter. <laughs> he pulls out a piece of parchment scroll <laughs> opens it up what is your name? Zorax. But tucks it away. You are not on the list. You may not enter. Be gone with you. That's why. That's because the information just came up and he needs to know. <laughs> Give me a deception check, please. I'm not deceiving! <laughs> Persuasion? Well, you, who's he? The Lord! The Lord of the Manor. The Lord of this Manor is certainly not a he. She. Hmm? What is it? What you tell me? What it is you want to? We have information about, about what may have happened to uh, El Terrell. And why do you think Lord Vanthaper cares? I'm pretty sure she would be happy to have this deed not purged off the map. <laughs> mm. I say a moment, please. And they kind of they turn and they have a little. <laughs> Thank you. Scuttle I'm too awkward for this shit. <laughs> um, I have high charisma in real life. In these situations, I do not. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking say. He says, um, we will pass on your information. Here is a rip. Please write down all your details, and we will ensure that it gets to the, the lady. The I, lady of the house. But why are we not allowed to see her is kind of the next question. He a reaches into his pocket. Because you're not on the list. <laughs> Puts it away. That and there's a process to these things. I'm assuming. Ha. Huh. Yes. We're in Baldur's the demon understands. Gate. There is no process, and we all know this. This is the upper echelon of Baldur's Gate society. We're in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I'm married to Safira, who is in Baldur's Gate, and she is also out here, one of the nobles. There is no process. Mm. How much coin? How much do you have? 
Sounds like a process to me. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> well, seeing as I'm with the Flaming Fist and I used to work with the old guard, how about a discount? What are you offering? The guys start kind of arguing back and forth. He's like, should you be doing that? He's like, we've, are we've you done tell anybody. He's like, not if you split it. Well, then there you go. You'll notice that uh, Rhea has pulled her hood up and is kind of keeping quiet and keeping her face down. I wonder how I can persuade this, though. Persuade to make it cheaper, I guess. Can I just say that? Can yeah, I go ahead. persuade yeah, for you it? Yeah, you can just say you're going to do a check and then I'll just marry Wow, it. that's a nine. Um, nine? It's rough. Well, you offer him a, a, a small uh, offer of uh, 15 gold pieces and he says, Ah! You realize there's two of us, right? That's not going to do it. You're going to need to do more. I lean over, make a 20, so that they can split it evenly. I can hear you. Yes. That's still not enough. Mm. I'm telling you what. If you want to <clears throat> slip by, it's going to cost you a cool 50 gold pieces. How about 40? My only issue with slip it's by... bigger than zero. Give me persuasion. <laughs> My only issue with slip by is that means... That I won't be able to. 14. Also, nine. Hmm. Now, by. Get... He got a nine. Um, uh, he's. No, that's he's not going to budge from at least. So, by slip by, that means that I'm pretty much have to get by all the guards that are also inside the house, right? Oh, fine. well, I'm just saying that if we happen to turn around and you slide in we miss you, we won't be held accountable. Hmm. 50 gold How pieces. many are in the house? How many what? You guys. Us? The watch. Do you really want to ask him that? Well, wow. if I have to slip by, I think I have some right to Hey, Billy, how many people do you think are working right now? And he starts counting. I don't know. 22? Probably 22. Okay. Okay. Um, now I, we know strong night shift. Damn. Oh no, 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 no. The night shift hasn't even started yet. Oh, it's getting close though. Okay. We will do be doing our change. Shh, shh. And they start. The other guy yells. It's like you don't tell people that. He's like, oh yeah. But anyways, fifty gold pieces. Oh, for the love of Bahama, I just slap him fifty gold. <laughs> okay. All Your right. Friend can get in. <laughs> Wait, for each? Was that not clear? No! Definitely. This is why you don't just hand somebody Give me an insight gold. check. <laughs> this is why you don't... <laughs> Baldur's Gate! Again, <laughs> what, how many times do I gotta say, we're in Baldur's Gate? <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> you can't just slap money into it. That's tilt. <laughs> oh, that's a 20. 20. Oh, shit. Um, 24 total. So, uh, you can tell that he's now, he's just, he's seeing how much more he can get out of you at this point. My eyes. He didn't, he, you can clearly tell that you saw a little bit of shock in his eyes when you actually handed him 50 gold. And then you kind of see him gather himself and then spit out, regurgitate now for the rest of you, basically. So, you know that he kind of just decided that at the last second. 50 for the lot. Did you give him like an intimidating look because that's what you're giving. Because I was right gonna now. say I can roll for yeah. intimidation. I got a plus eight for that. You giving him like an intimidation? Mm. Do it. I mean, do it. That's what you're. Are you, assi are you assisting me? Yes, he is. Yeah, he's, yeah. You give it roll, and then we'll add his modifier. Well, that's an eight plus an eight. That's sixteen. Uh, that's a seven. So, um, your tail lashes. <laughs> into the ground and dust spews up and your eyes kind of kind of come into like a crease and oh yeah you lean in and he's like um <clears throat> isn't it our break time <laughs> <laughs> and it's like yeah yeah i think it is and then they walk <laughs> like, over, oh, they walk no. over like 10 feet and start counting out the money <laughs> they're like nah fuck that <laughs> Rhea, never Rhea mind says, we should go now quick go all right come on do we just stroll through the front door as usual yeah stroll through the front door as usual 
Not that I can sneak anyway, so it may as well. As you're walking away, you hear, I think that guy was going to eat me. <laughs> um, if it was Brick, that would not have been the abdominal possibility. <laughs> Brick is certainly the man eater. <laughs> That's funny. So, um, as you enter into this gate, you enter a, a um, like a, like well, a, just a surprisingly nice looking yard. That's there's not works. a lot of green everywhere. That's natural. You can tell that there's a lot of, it's very dusty around here, but there are like plants and stuff that have been planted and are clearly maintained. Um, guards appear to be uh, walking around kind of patrolling. They kind of look up at you and kind of give like a double take, but then they just keep going back to their business. We're on the I'm, list. I was going to say. <laughs> We're on the list. It's not well, they didn't, yeah, they didn't say nothing to you. They just gave it like a double take <laughs> as they're wandering around. Um, yep. That's cool. As you as you come in, there appears to be a couple. Oh, that, right now, you've just got into the compound. At right, this point. we're in like the courtyard. Yeah, so there's some kind of some bushes and, and beautiful vibrant plants, which you haven't seen nothing vibrant. It's almost like you walked into another world when you came. Like I said, I smell there. grass. It's I've seen weird. Stuff, I've seen some decent stuff. I grew up at a church. No, I grew up here. This is fucking beautiful. Yeah, I can smell the grass. Who has grass in Baldur's Gate? So <laughs> there's a mud hole there. <laughs> so as you uh you you look in, there's a couple doors on this side, um that uh, a set of double doors as well as a set of uh, like a like a I don't want to say like a you've got one of the French doors. Uh, appears to be some sort of main entrance. Hmm. You also have a, um, it's probably like a side, uh, door. Uh, like a side door off, probably um, thirty or forty feet down this down this building. Hmm. Um, there are two guards posted at the French doors with these big like oak like doors, mm -hmm. um, but there's nobody posted over by the um, the other door. The, um, the side door. Side. I won't. I don't want to say side door. They're both on the front, mm -hmm. but it looks like it's definitely. Uh, it's got more traffic. You can see footprints. There seems to be more entrance in and out of there compared to the French doors. I'm gonna be honest. This might sound crazy, but I guarantee you, if we go to the smaller door, the guards are gonna question where are we going. But I guarantee you, if we go through the front doors, they're gonna assume we're on the list. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> what he said. Mm -hmm. So we may as well act natural as if we are supposed to be here. So that we make it through. You, a flame fist, acting natural. I got us through the gate, didn't I? No, he I. <laughs> I got us through the gate. I started the conversation. Um, I made so, the conversation. So You're right. I'm terrible with words. <laughs> so you really think we should risk it going right in through the front door? Yeah. Well, let me put it this way: Wouldn't it be suspicious if you went through not the front door? By this point. Uh, admittedly, I, he, I suppose. Admittedly, he does have a point on this. We're um, on the list, clearly. That's we, why we're here. If we act like we belong here, they'll believe it. <laughs> and in um, a way, we do belong here. All right. So as you guys approach, there's two guards there. They kind of look down you through their steely eyes with their their um. What did I say? They got uh, blue, uh, blue blue with copper, copper blue with uh, armor, and. They kind of look at you. You see their hands move to their 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 onto their swords. They're not drawing them, but they're kind of they got hold, held. Hold my arms up. So. Right. Friendlies. They don't say nothing to you. They just kind of watch you as you approach the door. Evening, gentlemen. I suppose. Good as a perspective, I imagine. I don't say good, though, do they? Well, I guess I just assumed. <laughs> <sighs> Slow day today? Every day. I suppose that's a good thing. Because we don't get as much action as you guys down on the lower slums. It's a good thing you can't see my face. I'm just kind of like... <laughs> like, did you beat up any innocents today? Not on purpose. Uh... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> we all kind of turned to him. Huh? I'm purpose. pretty sure that's a joke because we got pickpocketed today, actually. Kind of rough. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those guys at the front gate are pretty harsh sometimes. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah. Did they charge you that toll? Yeah. Sucker born every minute, right, Johnny? They said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Those lucky bastards. We're in the rotation for next week. 
do it. Take their spot. <laughs> just it's our rotation, so we'll be there. But yeah, yeah. but I mean, just like the door know. creaks open as you're talking to them, and um, oh, this whole going see, through uh, is actually working. <laughs> you see a decrepit <laughs> seventy year old <laughs> butler open the door, and he says, "Excuse me, can I help you?" Oh, we're looking for. Oh, what are we looking for? The lady of the household. We're the looking li- for the lady of the household. Seeking uh, audience. Yes. Um, she is currently. Um, what's the word? In this In- house? Yes. She has <clears throat> a guest. Insight? <laughs> Insight. Actually, given the info we're given, it's probably true. <laughs> no, but like, I mean, yeah, I got an 11. 21. Holy shit. <laughs> He beat me. Yeah, he's a pretty straight shooter. It doesn't oh. seem like he's there's no micro uh just seems pretty yeah. legit. Wow, okay. Uh oh. Um she's, she's indisposed with a <clears throat> guest at the moment. That's fine. We can wait. And that's the that said the the information we were given definitely passing that is true. The, the information involves the guest. Perhaps. Perhaps. Mm. Although what we, information is it you see, or you have? And then, <laughs> <laughs> you had the higher charisma. Uh, oh yeah, I guess. Um, fuck. Don't don't let that sort of stuff stop you from talking, though. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it, it's <clears throat> that's just the thing because I'm like I like that's hard for me. Just say what you want to do. You don't have to come up with liners. Just say I want to say this or I do this. I just want to. And I'm cool. really, I'm just wanting to get us inside to sit down <laughs> so that way we can at least act a little more natural and kind of be more normalized here. <laughs> All right, yeah. so you ask him, I will, I guess, well, it is possible that we may have information involving what have to do El Terrell, and we wish to prevent said events happening here. Uh, I see, I have heard about El Terrell. It is a shame. We have heard that the lady of the manor could help us um, uh, quicken our uh, quest for passing along this information. Well, like I, as I said earlier, she is indisposed. But if you'd like, um, you are more welcome to come in. I'll have a seat. I'll put on a spot of tea. Can help doing that. That's okay. Accent. Um, uh, I can put on some tea, and you're welcome to wait. But when her guest is here, she's usually indisposed for a while. So as long as you do not mind the wait, I'm how long happy. is a while usually? If you don't mind me asking. Well, with this young gentleman, I would say at least a couple hours. Hello, guys. Yeah. I don't know if <laughs> you know. Ah, oh, that's that's fine. We'll uh, we'll uh, just sit in the uh. I look to Rhea. Guess what do you think? Rooms, I suppose. Um, or just sit down in the uh, maining main hall. Or well, something. honestly, I I don't know what to think. There's important information. I suspect. She kind of looks up at the butler and trying not to trying to figure out how to say something without giving too much detail mm-hmm. away. She says, "I think it would be best to wait and." meet with the lady. This is important information that could protect Baldur's Gate. She says, and you see a bead of sweat running down her as she's making up this bullshit. Mm -hmm. Um, Issues, though. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, if we could, we we would love to sit. I'm willing to wait. So, um, so as you, you, he invites you in, um, in this main entrance, the room has two exits. Uh, a plaster shelf is lined with Seriously. ornate vases. Uh-oh. Um, ornate vases um, uh, circle the room at a height of about nine feet. Spread across the flagstone floor is a 10-foot-wide, 15-long rug uh, with an exquisite design depicting a royal coronation. Two tapestries hanging on the walls depict dragon flying over a ship and pilgrims on camels, respectively. Um, Ooh, I... Does anybody have anything, any special perception skills or features or anything? I have proficiency in history. Okay. 
Um, I have proficiency in religion. Um, you don't have any skills like special things like blind sight or anything like that, right? No. Uh, we can divine sense real quick, but okay. I could smell the evil in the air. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, so he lures, or he lures you. Actually, speaking That's of divine sense, sense, I would actually like to use that right now. I'm curious. Uh, is that an action, bonus action, it's or a ritual? Action. Is it an action? It's an action. Hang right on, here. let me look that up. It's like a paladin so, feature, so. Yeah, I know it's yeah. a paladin feature, but I don't know. Divine sense is an action. Action. Okay. And how far does it go? Uh, it's 100. Sixty feet. You 60 want to feet. read for me and everyone that doesn't know what divine sense does? As an action, you can detect good and evil until the end of your next turn. You can sense anything affected by the hollow spell or know the location of any celestial fiend undead within sixty feet that is not behind total cover. You can use this feature three times at our current level per long rest. Okay. Is um, it really just three times at our current level? At a so... level, yeah. Because isn't it affected by charisma score? Oh yeah. Mm. Because that means I can use it six times. <laughs> Hang on. It's one plus your charisma. Right? That's weird. Uh, I don't understand why I have three when my charisma mod is two. Yeah, one plus charisma. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> so yeah, I can use it six so, times. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use it right now. Just. Wow, I can really smell you. It's weird. <laughs> no, I'm trying to... No. I well, I guess you're a tiefling. Is that considered a fiend? Huh? Is a tiefling considered a fiend? No. Oh. No. <laughs> They're not fiends at all. They're humans. No. They're basically humans who's made a pact and their blood was, like, twisted or some shit. Yeah. So they're closer to humans than, like, actual, like, fiends. fiends. Yeah. Um, I need to look this up really quick. I can't wait to use Defiant Sense when I'm in Avernus. I'm gonna be like, oh wow, it's all bad. Burn up. <laughs> fucking your eyes will yeah, burn, just... burn out. <laughs> my eyes blow out of my head. So what does that look for? Does it look for fiends or something? Fiends, fiends celestial, and undead within okay. sixty feet that is not behind total cover. So or it can that's, that's... sense hollowed ground and stuff as well. Okay, yeah, okay. So um, as you send this out, um, send it out. More like sniffing the air. <laughs> yeah, you take a big, and you, you smell evil. Whoa, close. Um, is that you're saying sniffing? I is that yeah, I like that's word. Yeah, like, you know, you do, do you smell it out? What the rock um, is cooking? <laughs> um, the scent of fiends is sifting out of four of the vases that are up on the, the wall area. The gentleman. I guess I can also says, see it too, because I'm wondering how I would perceive it just beyond smell. Can I see it as well? Kind of well, I. How does it? Does it? What does I don't it know say? How... It just says you can sense. Is it just sense? What is it? Detect. Detect. So you can tell there is something watching you. There is four tiny things watching you. Um, the the blip of uh, energy or feedback that you get back is very subtle. It's very small, like the cat size or something. Um, you've fought enough fiends in your day to know. This is probably uh, like an imp or something. Yeah, something along those lines. You and don't know. Small imp. Yeah, small, small something. Yeah. It, they're watching. There's something watching. You can't, like I said, it's some sort of fiend, um, but you can't see it. Um, you just know it's, it's within it's your It's within detective. my, yeah, it's within my range. Yeah. And luckily I can. I use Divine it. Sense as well to get a feel um, of, uh, to get the same feel as he does. Um, there are four, four small creatures in this room watching you. The the essence comes from around the one of the, the vases, approximately, but you don't know which ones. Hmm. Um, that being said, the waiter right. or the, the butler, the butler um, he says, "Well, right this way, if you would." At My least nothing from Frederick. the butler. That'd be scary. <laughs> yeah, nothing from the butler. Fucking um, vampire says, butler. Uh, <laughs> 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 Gotta gun him down. Gun him down. Fucking <laughs> order. Um, so, uh, he says, I am Frederick, um, follow me this way to the dining room, uh, and I will get you your tea. Okay. Um, so do you guys follow him? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can feel the, 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 is it stronger? watching you. Oh, okay. Um, 
because we're now we're made and aware of them, to, so if we yeah. can kind of feel their their gaze on us. Yeah. So, yeah. and how long well, does that last? Until the end of your next turn. So okay, so it's blip and gone. It's very much like a sonar then. Yeah. Like a bing, come back. Yeah. Like uh, bing. Uh, what's his name? Uh, freaking the blind hero. Daredevil. Daredevil. It just kind of sends it out and then comes back. It's kind of what I'm envisioning. Yeah. Um. So, uh, as he kind of winds your way through some of the halls, the the elegant stuff, the paintings, everything is just exquisite like it, it clearly it's costly and very valuable certainly better than Sephira's house that's right. kind of crazy um as you guys enter this room an iron wrought chandelier hangs above a black oak dining table surrounded by eight high back chairs carved to look like devils that makes you comfortable um <laughs> a fireplace dominates one wall flanked by <laughs> red curtain windows a handsome glass doored wine cabinet stands against one wall he says, if you'll please have a seat. I activate um, Divine Sense one more time. <laughs> um, I ain't taking no chances right now. <laughs> this is starting to get a little spooky. <laughs> what can that detect? Fiend, Celestials, and Undead. undead. Right. Within 60 feet. Well, each Paladin's Divine Sense works differently, so. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I think you can decide as the player how it works, right? No, no, as in each archetype, it says different things. No, it's not. No, I thought it was. It's a, it's a just a regular paladin thing. I'm looking at it. Mm. Yeah. I smell the evil. I it's looking it. at me. <laughs> you can smell it. Oh um, no, it does not. Nothing feel, here. No, well, hang on. Nothing in this spot. Nothing new. Whatever you're sensing appears still... to now be following you. It. it... Oh, interesting. Can I look back real quick to see if I can actually see it? Yeah. You know, I, nothing. Anybody uh, I, I completely, training Arcana? I go back to looking natural. I'm not. I'm. Are you training Arcana over there? Fuck no. Yeah. Well, give me an Arcana check. <laughs> like, I am an Arcana It's what this, we do. Anybody? I haven't Ten. yet. I'm waiting for the butler to leave. Okay. All right. Waiting um, for the butler to so kind I'll, of... I'll give once he let you know what you yeah. got, we'll go with that. So he says, well, have a seat and I will uh, be right back with some um, snacks and some tea while you wait for uh, the you. lady of the house. Um, do you Z. have any special requests? No. Uh, black tea, please. Okay. Earl Grey, hot. All righty, I'll see what we have. <laughs> That's a fancy man. Um, so he uh, he walks out. French cap didn't like to drink it. <laughs> um, I per, can, can I use of... perception real quick to see if anyone else or anything else that I can visibly notice is yep, in the room. Kind, um, of, kind of poke around a little bit, see if you find anything. Yeah, eight, only an eight foot. Um, I'll do this. I, obviously, you're, <laughs> I'm assuming you guys can tell I'm just kind of doing one of these. Yeah, I got something else. Anyway. Um, you notice the um, curtains kind of billow a little bit, but you don't feel no breeze. Hey, so. I'm kind of getting this weird feeling. I know it kind of sounds kind of crazy already. You are sound I, crazy. I know. But yeah. I think there's something watching us. Something obviously not human. Pro oh. Probably a fiend of sorts. Well, why didn't you leave with that part first? <laughs> I'm already um, crazy. I'm staying close to... So, uh, I gotta feed his... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so as he's kind of describing what he's feeling, the first thing that comes to your mind from your studies, your arcane studies, is uh, imps are notorious for um, notorious little, f often familiars um, that are uh, can go completely invisible. Okay. So you suspect it could be um, imps. Yeah. I say an infernal. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> we all know Infernal, don't we? Oh no, I don't. Never mind. I know Celestial. I do. Infernal. All right, yo. It just we know you're here. You might as well just come out where we can see it. <clears throat> I'm standing close to Rhea so that she doesn't get hurt. All right. You know, I'm like, what the fuck kind of shit did you just say? <laughs> here. Nothing offensive. Oh, <laughs> Zim. <laughs> he, he knows we're here. <laughs> oh. All right, uh, Zim. Oh, um. Yes. Sorry. We're watching why because uh, um, we're supposed to mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, are right. they still That's speaking right, infernal so. yes i'm like <laughs> i'm just looking at it Can I, make I pull off my mask and do one of these 
What do you want to do? Um, what kind of jack shit are you guys I'm saying right now? check on those imps? For what? Um, to see if they were telling the truth. Sure. Kind of you can raw... understand Infernal, right? Yes. And I rolled a six. What kind of raw jack shit oh, are you guys saying right With now? their high squeaky voices and they're not address. super masterful mm -hmm. of the language. Or you know, just, just a little watch. Um, it's hard I'm to tell. I'm a oh, yeah, you would. They're the real yeah. watch. Um, the you watch. can't tell. They're not. There's no trembling or anything in their voice that would indicate um, any sort of... Um, I need to pick up infernal uh, <laughs> ideal that they're lying, and since you can't see them, it's hard to see if there's any like uh, body language cues that you could see, but you can't. Yeah. Um, yes. Um. Zang. Zang. Uh, hmm. Hey. No, we're here now. Um. Yeah. What should we do, Zen? I'm Zen. You're Zen. I know. That's what I said. No. That's what. Who told you to watch? What? Who told you to watch? <laughs> Who told you? I gotta tell you. No one. <laughs> He does have a point, I say in the front. I'm a he or a she. Sorry. You better be. <laughs> I can't tell. It's too short. Mm. You can't see him at all. I, exactly. Oh. I use. Oh, I. I have a spell for this situation. Oh, you do, dude. I have comprehend language. So, <laughs> where's is, is that a ritual? No, no. I don't. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It's not a paladin spell initially. I don't know what the. You intense. have to train it. Yeah, it's more to your class, your, yeah, your Void Walker thing, right? Yeah. What, uh, what, do you know it at third level or what? What level are you? Third or fifth? Fifth. I'm fifth level. You might. You did you pick it up? Yeah. It, Just you because get it's it. on your it's on your spell. Of, it's added to your it, list without automatically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But don't, don't you have to prepare a spell? You don't have to prepare them as paladin, do you? We don't have rituals as paladins. They're not wizards. What's to, <laughs> what's to prepare? I just speak it and it happens. <laughs> oh, well, check see if you got it at that uh, level. Five. I'm looking that up. Do you it's... have the old palette and the oath on there? Uh, no, no, I have. I have. I, have, I wrote it, it all down. Yeah. Spell, uh, I just don't know what the spell. I don't know like what I need to do in order. It to... is first level. I knew that. Uh, one action or ritual. It's got the ritual. I don't plan. have a ritual. Right, but is it uh, on your list at your fifth level? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Same with uh, absorb it... elements. Okay, because I think it's third level. Yes, but I think those are both that were granted to you from your Voidwalker status. Yeah, right? yeah. So you can just use it then, yeah, not as a ritual. Yeah, um, you have to use expend a spell slot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pinch of soot and salt. Yeah. yeah. The reason I was asking because if it's a ritual you do, and you do it as a ritual, you don't have to expend a spell slot generally. But well, paladins, paladins aren't can't ritual, use aren't ritual, ritual casters. Yeah. Well, that takes ten minutes to cast a ritual. Yeah, and then I'd be long out of the conversation. Anyway. That's so true. yeah, uh, <laughs> I cast. Um, last, last one hour though. I cast comprehend languages. I can now. Can I only hear Infernal? Can I not speak it? You can understand it. You can understand, understand it. it. I don't think you can speak it. I don't know what does it say in the spell. Oh shoot! Because okay, I wasn't looking at it. I just closed it. Comprehend languages for the duration. You can understand the literal meaning of any spoken language you, that you hear. You can also understand any written language that you see, but you must be touching the surface on which the words are written. It takes about a minute to read one page of text. So I the suppose... spell does not decode secret messages in a text or a glyph, such as an arcane sigil that mm -hmm. isn't part of a written language. So you don't gain the ability to speak, but you can understand. Okay. Haha, -ha, I can be in the loop. <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> so anyways, these two are bickering back and forth and yeah. arguing about whether they should stay and follow you now that you know that they're... <laughs> um, so do we just still stay here? If you stop talking, maybe they'll not know we're here. We're not your hair. Can you speak common? They don't speak common, do they? Do they speak common? Do we, these ones? Would, we would not speak such a disgusting tongue. Fair enough. Uh, At least logic. they can understand me. <laughs> mm. And now I can understand them. Which is You great. look like my cousin. It, it turns to you. Zorax <laughs> <laughs> audibly laughs, and you guys have no idea what that sounds like until now. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I guess we go. Um, you don't have to. Uh, or, uh, yeah, I mean, we were told to watch you. I mean, you're kind of doing that right now. Or, well, yeah, I guess I can say that you are doing that right now, aren't you? I say in common, of course, but you know, whatever. They won't respond to you in your filthy language. <laughs> well, but I can still hear them in Infernal. So, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, if they're ignoring you, it's because they don't want to talk to you. Talk in your tell you what, if you tell us who told you to watch us, we. <laughs> Won't make you explode. I'll tell you what. No, don't tell him. Why not? He's going to make me explode. He's just point. threatening you. 
Yes, that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> um, our master? Who is your master? They're, they're not going to respond to me. Who the fuck do I care? <laughs> Spend it in one spell slot just to do this. No? Okay. <laughs> and your master is. Is, is it the one who summoned us? God. Who is? Not very smart. The lady of the house. Who? I no, get up and walk towards them, and I How can intimidate. You, you don't know where, where they at. are. Oh yeah. Wait, but you, I can hear them. You can hear them. Yeah, it's like a reverberating echo throughout the room. Well, I was just gonna say they're constantly moving around. Oh, oh that's well, true. Okay, then. see that makes more sense then. I would assume that they were still in just one spot. Just standing in They don't want to yeah. get blown up. Yeah. That's how you get blown up. Stand in one spot. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, like okay. the point, so, man. I only need six should, seconds should, to reach hey, them, though, and hit them. Stop talking. No, <laughs> no. We we're came talking here. violence now. We, we should came... disappear. Idiot, we're already invisible. We came here for a reason. Let's not be violent and get kicked out by dozens of guards. Ha! They think they'll get kicked out. If they start something, they're going to die. I look into the direction. You're probably I'm right. Said that. I mean, admittedly. <laughs> the noise is coming from up top, uh, approximately up top of the back of one of the demon chairs that got the demon devil and carved into it. I kind of ah! want to go and punch it. The, it you see the whole chair just kind of jostle. And then you hear some skittering across the floor. Great. Invisible imps. Yes, we've done this. I swear I'm going to kick it. <laughs> you, look, you look over and... Uh, oh, shoot. Rhea. <laughs> Um, you see, uh, oh gosh, uh, you see part of, um, once again, you still notice that part of the, um, the curtains are wiggling a little bit, but you don't feel a breeze. Um, at this Did point. I have sense anything about that at all? Cause I did define sense in here. So yeah, I for evil. Well, and good. It doesn't, no, you did not. Okay, that's that's all you had to tell me is yes or no. No, there's nothing. Okay, as far as divine sense is concerned, I yes, did not see nothing. anything. Okay. Um, so, um, uh, Zen, what are you doing? Nothing. <clears throat> you you see, um, Rhea kind of twitch, and you say, "What?" Are you? She kind of says, "What are you doing, you little thing?" And she starts kind of kicking around. That's it. Zorax, no, you don't control me. I get up from my ah! chair and I walk towards Rhea. If you can grab one of these little shits, I'll kick it. Um, just as you you say that, the action spell Fred, Frederick comes in uh, with some steaming tea, <clears throat> and some rolls and fruit. And he you says, brought quite a bit more than I imagined. Well, it's my job to uh, make you comfortable while you wait for the lady of the house. It is going to be a long wait. That's he does have a point. True. I guess I didn't. And I really, said that. I I said, You're a very good butler. Thank you. It's true. I am fabulous. She keeps me around for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I go to. You sit are, back you down. Hear just the, kinda, the scampering and then quiet. Like the minute he walks in, it's just like you, that. You, you don't think that you're not. The scampering didn't sound like it left the room, but you heard them kind of running around. That's what I mean. Like right when he came in, it just stopped immediately. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rhea I says, sit back down. Rhea says, course. I felt it touching my leg. It's it okay. made me very uncomfortable. It's okay. I'll kick it one day. <laughs> if I if I see it, I'm going to stab it. That's... We not in agreement. <laughs> um, you hear, uh, the Briefly not says, in agreement. <laughs> you have to watch out. Um, you have to watch out for them. The Of the two of them, Zin really has a taste for a female form. So she, she is very... I'm sorry, very what? Odd. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know that they're here. Well, yeah, they're our eyes and ears for intruders. Oh. I figured as much. I get it now. Hmm. Are they are they bothering you? I can ask them to leave. Yes. They our, won't, but I can ask them. Yes, our <laughs> companion here was touched by Zen, was it? Maybe. And one of them. Oh, I actually forgot you. which one was the girl. <laughs> yeah, I was good. <laughs> <laughs> One of them. I think they out. forgot. Yeah. But I mean. <laughs> Anyways, I will set this out and feel free to wait. All that I ask is that you don't wander around the premise. Um, if the guards catch you, they will escort you off the premise. If they find you sitting down, um, sitting down, uh, acting in uh, a way that is a threat or 
uh, something for them to be concerned security wise, they will detain you or worse using whatever force is necessary. So for your safety, I do encourage you to just stay in the room and wait for her late, uh, the lady of the house. Very well. Ah. And I sit down. I also find my chair again. But I sit next to Rhea because I'm like, I swear to God, I'm going to kick one of these little shits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, oh, I can hear you. Good. You don't scare me. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> and a a a, 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 um, a cup uh, coaster comes flying across the room at you. <laughs> That's what you get. Can I snatch it out of there and break it? <laughs> Give me next dexterity saving throws. You can catch it. That's a five. Hits you right in the schnoz where it's <laughs> your mask. Wait, you got your mask off, right? No, my mask is on. Oh, so it hits it and your mask goes poof, like this off to like the side. Goal! <laughs> Come on, Sam. I say in infernal. Nice shot. <laughs> I can it. still understand that. <laughs> <laughs> you can give him a quick one. Um, so at this point, you guys are sitting in this room. Yep. These imps the whole time are just being mischievous. They are tipping over your glasses. They are pulling on your stuff. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're doing everything they can to just be annoying. They are tinkering with all your gizmos. Um, does yours have like a traditional, like flintlock, like pull trigger or no, or anything like that? For a safety. Really. Okay. I was going to say, is it, can, is this well, something I mean, that can go off on accident when they're playing with it? Oh no. I hope so. Um, so, <laughs> so, um, uh, you're sitting there and your thing is it holstered? Yep. Um, it's sitting in your holster and, and all of a sudden a blast of the energy comes smashing out into the ground and turns the whole bottom of the floor icy. And you see little tiny footprints and then a big ass print as you hear a thud as it falls on its ass. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Don't do that again. And you see it scurry away, leaving little foot footprints in the ice. We can see. Yeah, a lot of things I carried kind of do that. that yeah. <laughs> Did you see that, Tim? You attacked me. You attacked me. Oh, no, no, he didn't. He, um, you attacked yourself. <laughs> Don't touch things. I've told you about. <laughs> um, one of all, you see, you hear Did a little you? thud, 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 and one of your your uh, you? Kyron's uh, cup gets picked up mm -hmm. and then just starts tilting, and the tea is just disappearing. Go, 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 go! Hey, <laughs> you reach out and you hear you you get a hold of uh, like a uh, something le almost like leathery, and uh, he says, ah, no, no, and it pulls it away. Hey. Hey, and this goes on for easily a couple hours passes with uh, Frederick coming back in uh, every so often. Um, sees the floor is just ice and he's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> so the question is, is um, as time is passing, are you guys doing anything other than being tortured by these little imps? Nope. Nope. I guess I'm picking up Infernal <laughs> in the meantime, because... Here's I have an hour to keep on learning and understanding what the fuck things are, so I may as well use it to learn. Um, so during this time, several guards have um, made their, their way in and have seen you. And um, We just wave. Well, yeah, I, the go. oddest thing happens after about three hours. Oh, First geez. of all... Um, Frederick comes in and he does apologize repeatedly that the lady is <clears throat> still indisposed. He goes, she doesn't usually last this long. It's, it's very odd, I'll be honest. It's possible she fell asleep, but she said specifically not to um, interrupt her business. Um, but uh, anyways. i um, wondering what this business is. <laughs> I have an ink. <laughs> um, so... As you're sitting there, this very fender, fender, this very slender, gaunt, almost, un, it's hard to explain, almost like a yellowish skinned person stumbles into the room. Um, trying to see if there's any more hmm. detail on it. Might have a doctor look at that. Um, he walks in, <laughs> he has a what book, and this? he's holding the book upside down as he comes in and says, Oh, we have guests. Who are you, and what are you doing in my home? Insight. Insight. What? what? Um, gosh. 17. What are you insighting? Um, if, 
if, if it's really the if, if it's actually his home or is he just being a nutcase? <laughs> Yeah, I would say that as well. Agree to that, yeah. <laughs> There's no reason not to believe it's his home. He's walking around it freely. Admittedly. You still haven't had It could just be like mm -hmm. other characters. For all we know, like, it could be the uh, lady's insane uncle. <laughs> could be. You could ask him who he is. Uh, we're here for the lady of the matter. Who are you? Oh, yes. I am Thirstwell Van Vamper. The lady of the house is my mother. And this guy, you're just, as soon as he says that, you're just like, because this guy looks like he's probably like in his 50s. Uh, hmm. That guy was the lady. <laughs> How, where? Okay. You still haven't answered my question. Why have you come to my home? Information. In information. To mm. talk to the lady of the... Did I not say that? Did I say that? You did. Oh. Oh, I see. You Divine know, sense again. Mother. What? I, I just... He's evil. Wait, no. That's Undead. not how that works. That's not how it works. No, he's... Uh... Undead? Nope. Nothing. Nothing rings off him. Sorry. It does used to be how that works. It is yeah, how it used, used to work. To be yeah, evil, like detect evil, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But then they made that into a spell, and yeah. now it's yeah. Anyways, okay. he says, mm, "So you've come to speak with mother." Uh, correct. Um, can you give me the details? She is indisposed, and I am we, happy to pass on any information. We're just we've already passed the information to your butler. <laughs> then why are you still here? Because we're very patient. It's a virtue. I've been told. <laughs> um, Certainly not Zorax's virtue, but he is here regardless. Well, uh, continue your wait, but honestly, it's probably not gonna. It'll be a while. We've been told. Yeah. Mm. Well, if you need anything, Frederick will help you. Sure. He has been very helpful to us. Yes, he is definitely the best when it comes to butlering. Correct. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well. All right. Well, if you've got nothing important or interest to me, um, I will be on my way then. Uh, Rhea, quickly, you see her eyes darting to him back and forth between you and him, you and him, you and him, trying to signal something. Please give me an insight check. <clears throat> 14. 13. Son of a gun. A lot of middle of the road rolls today for me. Rolls I really want to re-roll that. that. <laughs> Barely. Um, what'd you get? I got a 14. 7. 13. 13. 14 gets it. Um, So you can tell her she's kind of like doing a don't let him. Don't let him. We go. need to talk to him. Um, she says. Um, so she jumps. She says, um, uh, excuse, "Excuse me. Um, you wouldn't happen to know the name of her guest, would you?" And he says, "That's so smart." Oh, um, no, I, I don't. She gets her <clears throat> soils her oats. With a variety of creatures. Um, I can imagine as I look at the chairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mother's got a special taste, I suppose you could say. Would an Azimar perhaps be one of them? <laughs> you can what? ask, but I'm going to be honest. I'm just trying to get there. <laughs> I mean, she might. You can ask her. She prefers a little darker taste and his eyes shoot over to you <laughs> take one for the team <laughs> <laughs> take one for the team oh, you get God, a very, i can't do it you should you get uh, a very severe besides i'm married from you're a hot jerk boy i mean that literally <laughs> you kind of spout fire <laughs> just do it uh, anyway, so That's what, now Zorax is kind of like. Um, she says, um, she turns to him and says, she... 
You wouldn't happen to know <laughs> if there's anybody from El Toral here, would you? And his eyes open up big. Yep. He says, hmm, why do you ask? I think that was the right she kind of, she goes on seeking somebody, uh, that she's seeking somebody. No, I don't think there's anybody here from El Toral. Like, y'all <laughs> motherfuckers reach for your dice before I'm finished. What the hell? <laughs> Insight? Sure. We're going to do a polygraph test here. Because <laughs> I don't believe that guy. Uh, you got to beat a 20. <clears throat> I don't. I'm not using that die anymore tonight. He said, I don't. Oh, I wasn't like, unless. Oh, this 11. I got a 19. Sorry, guys. I was wrong. Um, hey, it's free. I'm not going to use inspiration. He, this shit. he quickly, yeah, you do. He had quickly um, hides his kind of tone. You did spot there was something about his intonation, but you're not sure what it was alluding to, whether it was just a bit of surprise right. or. If he's trying to hide something, it's very hard to discern. Right. Uh, he says, "Wow." Well, we get to buy um, his reaction at the very least. <laughs> but yeah. He, he, so there's definitely something there, but you're not sure what. He says, "Well, I have to be on my way. <sighs> if Mother doesn't arrive, please just uh, see yourselves out." <clears throat> and Remember, he's walking away. We have one for the team. Have one for the what? We have one for the team. No. <laughs> Take one for the team? Take one for the team. Um, you speak Celestial because you're an Asmar, right? Yes. I know Celestial. I also speak Celestial. Fantastic. I I'm say, speaking in common. I say in Celestial, no. And I speak in Celestial, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and her. <laughs> <laughs> Which probably sounds really strange in Celestial when you start cursing. <laughs> This is the holy language. You're sundering it. I am the holy language. <laughs> so let me give you my name in Spanish. No. <laughs> we, are, we are approaching dawn at this point. Uh, you guys have been waiting. Oh, wow. We've been waiting for a long, yes. long time. So, now. Like six hours? I'm, I'm, I think you can easily stay up, but I need a constitution save yeah. um, for exhaustion. Um, it's really easy. Oh, it's net 20. A, I was going to say, it's only, a, only like a five, so it's, it'll get harder the more you go without it. But yeah. 11. Yep. You guys clear five? Five super easy accidentally. Nine. As long as you don't yeah. get a one, yep. you're probably fine. Um, the, your, the, the tear on your, the wear on your body, the boredom, your eyes were getting heavy. Um, you're getting sick and tired of these stupid ass imps. They are, they're, they've been terrorizing you guys. Um, you dozed off for a quick quick second. Me? Yeah. I rolled the 20. Hey, oh, wait. No, who, got the, who got the who got under 10? Me. Okay. Sorry. I mixed you up. <laughs> like, uh, what the fuck? Um, no. So you dozed off just for an instant. Oh, a bald as kid. And when you did, um, do you have any – what's your your what's your clothing like? Actually, uh, you're not wearing a mask, right? No. There is a giant um, wiener written in ash – on your face. Oh, uh, yep. you got a okay. It's so Laura Bailey. I'm like, oh, hey, you have a... okay. Is she? Yeah, that's what she would do. Yeah, it's it's for for uh, the current campaign. She's she drawing that... dicks on people's faces. All right. Well, no, she's been drawing. It's speaking celestial almost yeah. everywhere. She drew it on. Um, no. <laughs> what was it? What was the statue when they were first in Sadash? Uh, I don't know. Matt. Huh? What languages do you know? Uh, Besides celestial and infernal. <laughs> Draconic, common. Okay. So at this point, I, don't finish up. Go ahead. Sorry. I speak to you in celestial. Start talking to him in alien languages so that you can understand him because I'm pretty sure. Can you speak? I speak in celestial. Can you understand me? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I speak to you in celestial. <laughs> I speak to you in celestial. Don't speak in infernal so that way the imps don't hear you. But I think the plan here is to just meet the lady head on by this point. Just don't speak to him on Infernal because then they'll hear you. But as long as we're speaking not in common, they won't understand us. Just relay that to him. I think we should just meet the lady directly. You're translating for me to him. Or you can just ask what language, what languages do you know? Or that. What languages do you know? Let's see. Uh, common, Draconic, Elvish, and Infernal. 
I relay that information in Draconic. <laughs> <laughs> we know so many tongues around here, and this is when it starts to get interesting because we're like, well, this guy over here can understand Infernal, but we don't have to speak in Infernal, and I only know Celestial, and thankfully this guy knows it. Good, so. because basically you're trying to make it so the imps can't. Exactly, that's right. the idea. So you only know Kevin and the Celestial. Mm -hmm. I'm a soldier. I yep. fight. I don't he listen. Learn. <laughs> <laughs> I fight. I don't really learn. But you have Cambrian language, which kind of helps with that barrier mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, so um, at this point, another three hours passes. Oh, gosh. Um, you've had uh, breakfast brought to you. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, we have had breakfast. You guys are. Dead. Yeah. Well, he's taking care of you. Yeah. Um, finally. Wait, what? Um, Something's happening. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Finally, a woman enters the room uh, well into her late 70s. Uh, she's got, she has a look as if she could stare down a hellhound without flinching. She's just got this straight, just almost terrifying. Thousand yards right there. <laughs> um, she's got kind of a, she's barrel bodied. She's got really big arms and hands. You would expect her to be like feeble, but she's not. It's almost like she, she and works out. She goes to the something. gym. Oh, fuck. And, um, How much well, action is the one getting? <laughs> well, she does live at Baldur's Gate, I suppose. She says, uh, so she carries herself with presence. She's wearing this um, very elegant green and, and, and uh, uh, blue and, sorry, not green, blue and, and copper suit. Um, she's got really big pearls. Uh, her hair is so very thinning. Like, there's not much there of her gray hair. Um, and she's wearing uh, big, round, like, pearl earrings. And her flesh is so, like, saggy because um, of her age. It's really bad. She, says, she carries herself, though, as she enters. She says, what? If I weren't mistaken, you honestly would have been mistaken for Captain of the Guards. And I find that impressive. I suppose that is not how you speak to the Duke. <clears throat> to a duke of Baldur's Gate. Be, you will address me as... Is it Duchess? I it says Duchess. <laughs> it says Duke here, but I'm going to go with Duchess because that makes sense. You will address me as Duchess Thalamra. What is it you want? Why have you come to my home and invaded? I have checked the schedule. I was not expecting guests. You probably did something about your guards on that matter. Well, as I jostle my coin purse. Uh, I have told those. Did we ever pick out, figure out the names of them? No. Didn't no. Know. We heard some. You of heard them. them talk about reference them, but they never gave them to you. I don't remember exactly what it was. I was gonna say like, you might want to talk to Jeff. Billy. Billy. Billy was one. You might want to talk to Billy. I have talked to him. I will cast him down to the crypts. Always willing to give in for a few gold pieces. How much did he get out of you? Fifty. Sorry, Too I much. Be more girly. How much did he get out of you? <laughs> Fifty. Fifty gold. Ah, oh, there's a sucker born every minute. What do you want? Why are you here? We Why came here for, search for a man who we believe or assume that came here from uh, El, El Terrell. And I tried okay. To we. What's this man's name? He, he was the overseer, actually. Overseer Thavius. Um, everyone, give me insight checks. Black die this time. I'm out of ten. Natural twenty. Eight. Nice. Um, I'm out of ten. So she pulls up her hands like this, her sleeves of her dress, and you just see these big muscles. And she says. I don't know anybody by that name. Oh, she's lying. You know she's 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 lying. You can tell by her demeanor as she starts to uh, kind of show off her muscles. She's getting almost, defensive. <laughs> almost defensively. I don't know anybody by that name. Now, if there's nothing else, please leave. Oh, you You've are. already consumed enough of my tea and snacks. <laughs> Tell him Mr. Frederick, by the way. He is very good, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> He's Frederick a good has, servant. And Frederick has kept us occupied, I will say that. Do I know that she's lying? Uh, or just, no, him? just him? But I would have stood right up and been like, you're talking straight out of your fucking mouth. 
Duchess. <laughs> but I can't do that. <laughs> but as for the matter of Overseer Thavius, that cannot be overlooked, especially from a lying noblewoman. Oh, fire. I like that. Bum, bum, bum. You've been in Baldur's Gate longer than I thought you have. Oh. Do you know who to whom you speak? I am not obligated to answer you. We're in Baldur's Gate. What does that have to do with anything? It's a shit I am show the Duke. Me. There's only three Dukes of Baldur's Gate left. I did none. Probably for good reason. Probably all wow. dying off. <laughs> there's, three, there's three of them. Anyways, she says, uh, I am not required to answer your pitiful questions. I have told you I do not know who it is of you seek. Now please leave before I have my guards throw you in prison for intruding on my property without permission. Actually, we did an ask of the... Anyway. <laughs> before what? Actually, we were let in, so... Hmm? Oh, yeah, we were let on. No. You bribed one of my soldiers who will be punished for that. Bribery is still against the law. You think there's much law left in Baldur's Gate still? That's what I'm trying to fix. Are you? Do you not see this compound surrounded by the watch? It's because your kind is worthless. Insight to see if she's really trying to fix Baldur's Gate. <laughs> sure. Or trying to just corrupt it further. Uh, 15. She didn't give you any signs, indication, or hesitation that she wasn't sincere about it. But it's hard to tell because she's, you know, just so rough to begin with. That's fair. And even if she's lawful evil, that's still lawful. That someone thinks it's working okay. <laughs> yeah. It makes this makes it your, really hard because and how has your efforts paid off so far? Well, let's see. I have successfully managed to reallocate some of the refugees to homes. What are you doing, huh? Do you think it's easy to help bring in a massive crew of unexpected people, a rush of these people when we don't have the stuff, to, the the materials to support ourselves? And that's what we're trying to fix as well. We're trying. No, to it make sounds sure like you're trying to. Find somebody who I told you is not here, and you insist on not leaving. But you sound like you know someone is here, or someone who the person we were looking for was at least here at some point, and we're trying to find this person. There's we'll no gladly leave. We just want to know where this person is. I do not know where this person is that you seek. Now leave, or I will have the guards throw you out right now. I'm assuming you're rolled inside. I'm looking yeah. at Rhea. Back, I'm looking at between between. The Duchess and Rhea. Um, Rhea's got her hand on the hilt of her blade. Um, and you can see kind of her arm trembling. What did you roll for? Insight. To know what? If she's lying. If she's saying that. She sounds, she believes she's being genuine. That'd be the best way to. Yep. Well, I'm at, that... about there that I meant more among the aspect of them saying somebody's not here. All to respect, my lady, but I don't believe you one bit. What did you get? Not very much. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you outright, because um, you asked, you rolled insight and got a 20 if she was lying about knowing the person. She does. You can confirm that. What was your roll? A four. Um, you have no idea if the person is on the premises or has been here recently. But you have confirmed, you do know that, in fact, she at least knows the person or of the person. Now, it could be just that she knows that because he was so important in l right. and just doesn't want to deal with your shit. Or she has a more close relationship. But you once again, you can see um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Rhea has kind of got her blade. I put, so you can see I put my face container. We're going to let him go I, first because he's been waiting to go and I keep talking. Sorry. So, so the person's not here. Do you know where we could hmm. find this person then? If you, well, if it's you anywhere not here. Try checking Elturel. Elturel's, Elturel's gone. gone. Maybe he's there with it. That's not what people have told us. That, that's why her we're... eyes narrow instantly. Have told who has told you what? That's a big clue. That her eyes narrow. Who has told you that somebody of such high rank is here? Hmm? Wasn't he supposed to be meeting with the the Grand Duke? The Grand Grand Duke Riven Riven Guard Riven Raven Guard Raven Guard. So why would they be here? Why would he be here? Why would he be here? We and don't know. Duke is not. <laughs> don't. I don't know. I've told you, and I'm tired of this. Guards! 
she shouts, and you can just hear like marching foot, yes, coming from outside. And instantly, um, you hear some. <laughs> now they're gonna get it. Now they're gonna get it. <laughs> well, since I don't have to play nice anymore, I'm coming for that imp. <laughs> Are you gonna attack? It's invisible. It's invisible. Just means it's at disadvantage. Doesn't mean I can't try. <laughs> um. So, I'm gonna be very straightforward with you right now. I'm not going to stop you from doing that, but you have to understand you are in a compound surrounded by 20 plus guards. Now that I've explained that to you, right? You are perfectly okay to do this. I just want you to know there's going to be repercussions if you do now, maybe you'll survive and get away or something, but that's going to be something to think about. We're going to get taken away anyway. In either way, that means jail or we die. So I'll hold that off. All now. right. We'll leave. <laughs> The guards come, Duchess, and you look out, and it's like 20 guys all at once shouted Duchess. And um, she says, escort them out of our compound now. I okay. cast Divine Sense one more time before we leave. Shit. I just thought of that because we are so encapsulated by the arguing that I didn't even think about it until now. Like, I didn't even think about that. I was like, <gasps> are you looking up Divine Sense? No, I'm no. looking up a uh, monster to make sure that, you got that, it, right? that it doesn't fall underneath. Yeah. The, the conditions. Fiend, for what, undead, or celestial. And it doesn't. So um, the only thing you pick up is the small energy signatures coming from the imps. imps. I swear but it's now like there is four of them. Oh, wait, that part earlier, so that checks out. Oh, yeah, I, that's true. Okay, yeah, because the two actually left the room and followed yeah. you guys in, but the other two stayed. So oh, I, didn't, since, I don't, I don't, I don't remember if I had said that there was. I think enough. that since she called the guards, the other two just came in or something. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they escort you out of the compound. Yeah, we get it. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, like, I am. If there was to, any way to, that that was something that I just knew was polymorph, I was gonna call that shit out immediately. But it's not. So I, I am you know, keeping so. a close eye on Rhea to see if she. And tried to stop if she tries anything <laughs> dangerous. I don't care if she um, give me everyone. Give me a perception check. I'm the except one that died. <laughs> uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Nine. Eighteen. 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 Nine. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you're being escorted away, um, Get you hear, um. Just like vaguely coming from the other room as you're being escorted out, the Duchess turned to Frederick and, and say, um, she's talking to him, you, but you only pick up a few things. And one of the things is we have to move the plan up till tonight as you're walking out. Shit. <laughs> um, and they escort you out of the I'm compound. assuming right to the... Uh, front gate of the courtyard mm -hmm. or something, yeah. And they all sat, and you see the guys you bribed, and you can see a look of fuck on their face. <laughs> They're looking at each other, like they look at you. I didn't. I ignore them and walk away. I I go over to one of them. It's only Billy. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I look to the other guards. I mean, they can't. They can't tell because of the mask. But <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, uh, as you guys get a sufficient way, a distance away, um, Rhea immediately says, "She's hiding something. She's hiding something. I know it. I know. I know. I know. Guys, I believe you. I think we both. I'm. I'm we kind of looked at each other. We both kind of know, but there were too many." To deal with that situation, I know. But now she's now she knows she knows we're looking. They are moving the plan up to tonight. What, tomorrow? What what plan? Don't know. Something that we picked. Something that we picked up. Just on. heard it on the way out. But Frederick's in on it too. <sighs> I knew it. Something is going on, and the overseer she has to know where he's at. At least. So then, when? Then why? Why, if the overseer was supposed to meet with the Grand Duke, is the Grand Duke missing, but the overseer is here somewhere? If they were both supposed to be neg negotiating for peace in Elturel, they should both be missing. My only issue is, is that 
because I can sense the presence of fiend, celestial, or undead things, which might sound weird to you. What I guess it's fucking it's whatever. The for undead, some reason, really? why would that be weird? My entire city was taken the over. The point by is undead. that I'm getting at is that I didn't sense anything off. There was the imps, sure, but. The devil carved chairs didn't give you any sort of insight. nothing. That's what's weird about it. Nothing at all. And this, uh, I mean, the curtain was billowing awkwardly with no wind going at it. Yeah, I saw that. That was really weird, right? But nothing. And... Oh, okay. I heard them, but I couldn't understand the what they were saying. All I could hear was the constant gibberish of this dark. They may have that because mostly. Hmm? Yeah. So, I guess... The um, one thing I did pick up from her is that she at least knows the Overseer. Yes. But she also might not have been lying that he's no longer here. That's yeah. another weird part. I don't I don't trust her. I don't believe her. She knows more. And since she isn't willing to tell us, I think we need to find out for ourselves. I think we need to sneak into the compound. Then you guys not are on right your own now. because I can't sneak out. in there. <laughs> not right now. We just got kicked out. We have to wait. To what? It, whatever we stumbled upon, there she's gonna end, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's all gonna happen tomorrow or tonight, whatever tonight. it is. Tonight. So, so here's the plan. What do you think, Merle? I'm just. Uh, I'm... He's here for the ride. What are you, a straight <laughs> neutral? Yes. Well, no. But one... yes. <laughs> so, I'm also have a sleep. <laughs> Look, uh, I figured as much because you're not as involved as you normally. <laughs> yeah. Would be, and I didn't know if Look. it was something I was doing wrong. No. Okay. Look. We're tired. We've been here. We've been in yes, I know. Only. I've been with you. But we have to do something. That's the problem. But I can't sneak in there and I point to my, my heavy fucking armor. Then don't wear it. You want me to just leave this thing? I don't know. Muffle it or something. With what? <laughs> I have no idea. I then a great you idea. Are, you Thank guys are you. powerful casters, right? I saw you <laughs> using that magic. What magic? We're half magic users. Not full-fledged. I just the guy who speaks shit and somehow it works. I don't know how it works either, okay? <laughs> well, I, I, I can actually take anyway. Oh, well, well okay. Change, okay well, then change out your equipment for something else so we can do this because if we don't, there's obviously something important going on tonight. And she moved it because of us showing up asking questions. You can't tell me that that isn't important. If I go in unarmored, I have 12 AC. But on the other hand, we need I'm still a beast. Yeah. So yeah. maybe yeah. I can do it. Night. If we want to, this we might want to be a plan. What they're doing tonight. I can just we need else. rest. <laughs> Never oh, mind. We can rest here in the day. We'll do it. And then go to. I have a plan. Yes. <laughs> yes. What? Is, okay. That is the. That is what I'm proposing to you. We do. We take rest during the day and come here at night and watch them from a distance. We can sneak in. I can just fly. I'll, I'll hide my armor. I look over to Merle. And you wouldn't have to have. Any... I'll have twelve AC, and I'm gonna go fucking balls deep. <laughs> We're gonna sneak super hard. You could buy a different type of armor. Yeah. Uh. Nah. Well, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't care. I'm not getting look, rid of this thing. <laughs> look, here's you're the issue. Plate, right? Or... It's mithril. Yeah, okay. he has mithril armor. So, so, he's fine. so your stealth is fine. Mine, no, my, no. It's just that my dex is zero, and I am not proficient with stealth checks. Oh no. Well, I'm not proficient no, with stealth no. checks either. But you know, I got a two. So I can do something. <laughs> All right. I look so over, Merle I look can fly, so it doesn't matter. I look you just hear the, the little. <laughs> I look over to Merle. You wouldn't have it to have any of those contraptions that lets us see from afar, right? Or make it so my armor doesn't. No, and no. <laughs> Fuck. Darn it. <laughs> we have a plot point. I can make it so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll I change forgot. your character. Yeah, I forgot about the plot point thing. No, I'm not obviously going to spend it on that. But that would be funny. It'd be right? hilarious. That'd be funny. I could build one. <laughs> what? I could build one. There's a, there's a <laughs> secret path right into where we need to be. Yeah. Somehow it's just a straight hallway we never saw before. Apparently no one else. We just waddle right on through. Oh, we made it. <laughs> um. All right. So we could probably go in, go into the sewers. I don't know. Mm. Why is there sewer? There is has there? to be a drainage to the fucking manor. That's brilliant. Probably. Why didn't you... I'm not playing a rogue? That's how come I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's literally why. So um, I think headstrong, build strong. <laughs> so I think uh, Chiron is right. I think that we need rest. I can barely keep my eyes open. We get some rest. Weak. We plan. <laughs> rest is for the weak. I roll the twenty. I'm fucking. I'm beaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get some rest during the day. We meet up 
Um, yeah, so we can just, probably get uh, us late afternoon. <laughs> and when we do so, we will come up with a plan. Uh, it sounds like you guys are already working on a few things. Maybe. I'm not digging a spot to hide my armor. Gonna break. Like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to put this back, but yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so do you guys agree with that? And is that something we should do? I feel like yes. that's the only thing we can do. I'm going to be honest. It's um, our only option right now. All right. So we're going to hand wave. Poof. You guys went and rested. Is there anything specifically? Just tell me what you guys did before or after uh, while you were getting before you were doing your resting and any changes you might have did. Starting at the end of the table with Merle. I'm not making any changes in particular. <laughs> okay. I'm picking up Infernal. You can. How are you just learning Infernal? I don't know. You guys can teach me. You guys both know it. It takes months. And I can do comprehend languages. It takes a, and takes I can a lot understand. of downtime hours. No, I get that. Yeah. That's okay. what I'm saying. Like, so you that's were what practicing. I'm using my, so yeah. Put a, put a check mark that you practice for. Oh, my gosh. One down, one day. Yeah. I would say what it would take is a year of downtime training. Yeah. So I, to learn an entire language. Yeah. yeah. I'm well aware. But, you know. Or there's a feat for that. I mean, there is a feat for that, but also feats are oh, limited. Yeah, I was going to say, you can take a feat and learn it sooner, I guess. Uh, anyway, so um, what is uh, what was um, uh, Zorax doing before or after his rest? In learning Infernal. That's okay, what the that's downtime it. was. <laughs> All right, what about Chiron? Um, I was going to, before we um, went to a place to rest, I would say, you should come with us for safety. With the Good with job. You, being you learned the word the... <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It's when you, one more word than I thought. We're trying you, to talk, people. Come on now. With your encounter with the flaming fist, it's dangerous for you to wander out by yourself. That's an excellent point. <laughs> Admittedly true. <laughs> I have a place to hide, thank you. And I figure as long as I'm friends with the flaming fist, I'll be all right. Or allies with the flaming fist, I'll be all right. You can you I will mean, you will vouch for her if she gets caught, right? Yeah. Or, or, Insight check. Maybe. I mean, well, I'm, I, mean I, I have no so, qualms with her. She's helped me. And or I, you could draft her. I could draft you. I mean, all <laughs> we do, flaming fist. all we literally do is just stamp an insignia on you. You're technically part of it. So, I mean, if you really want to be, it's pretty easy I to get I wouldn't wear it. such a piece of um, no, 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 disgrace no. upon myself. Uh, but well, they wouldn't beat you up anymore, now would they? <laughs> Look, I can hold my own. That's the that's the knife I put on my joint. Actually, yeah. <laughs> sad. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys quickly get a nap in. Your beds are uh, is the most comfortable thing you ever imagine at this point because you're so tired. Except for you, you're just like I'm fucking beaming. Yeah, you're just like struggling to fall asleep. Um, you guys wake up. You end up with a really nice meal. You're served some bourbon toe. You get some. Uh, I don't drink. I drink you get the not bourbon toe. Bourbon toe, um, <laughs> called uh, bourbon little toe. Um, bourbon pinky. <laughs> bourbon pinky. There we go. Um, Served by Chef Boyard Durr. <laughs> I forgot about that. I fucking love Chef Boyard Durr. <laughs> where's that? Where's um, the Durr thing even come from anyway? I don't know this. Because it was the branded. Storm King's Thunder. Yeah. Something and he was hide, someone was hiding behind a, no, can, a giant can a from the ogre. Uh, oh, yeah. Chef and he was like, like there, he happened to look at it. He was like, oh, Chef Boyard Durr. <laughs> Durr is a, like, uh, uh, it's a helicopter. A thing, thing, right? No, well, the, that's a <laughs> so Durr usually is something that um, is used to reference somebody who is incompetent. Like, um, dude, idiot, the light's green. Go, you dummy. Um, Durr. Durr. Yeah, but initially. the guy's just sitting there, Durr, while he waits, you know, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Um, it's That's meant to be uh, a very you're an idiot sort of uh. mentality. So anyways, um, so you guys enjoy some nice uh, flank steak. Um Oh, we're getting treated nicely around here. Oh, yeah. There, there's some good stuff. Um, the game. problem is, is it's very small portions, like beef jerky stick. So it's like flank stick instead of flank steak. But um, it comes with some uh, potatoes and some corn. <laughs> but the potatoes are nasty. The corn has no flavor. There's lots of black. Basically, the food that's being served. It's mush. It's being, it, it's old, it's mush, and it's being rationed. Yeah, well, um, I'm used to it, I guess. So I live here. <laughs> uh, anyways, so you guys anything, the beef end up meeting is, uh, in a, a safe house that you agreed to with uh, yep. uh, Raya. Raya. Lady Raya. Um, and she had shown it to you Time. on the way before you guys, uh, when you guys were returning back, she gave you instructions. And you get to the safe house, and it's at the edge of the slums just before it starts to reach the new... Uh, the, the 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 noble area, right? The lord's area. Yeah. Where the, the, 
where my big, wife is. Where, big, yeah. where the big keepers are. Yeah. Um, you actually stayed uh, with your wife, and she made you. Uh, um, I a got a good meal. meal. Yeah. 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 Meal. Wait, why could we have just stayed at her pl- at their because place? Because I paid for the lan- low lantern thing. It's true, we did. So, um, but he lives in town, so I, f- I keep forgetting he can just go to his bed. So mm-hmm. you and your wife do a bad baby, bad baby. You missed it for a while. Um, knocking the dust off of that. Um, taking care of business, all that jazz. Oh, yeah. Um, so you get back to the safe house. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, the place is run down. There's dust in the air. It smells like shit and urine still. You're used to it at this point. I mean, I live. Um, there's a corpse in most the corner. Of the- ah, there's a new one. Who did this one? Um <laughs> As part uh, of the as part of, of the cool. guard, you do go and kind of check and uh, yeah. The, I kind of look at I look at the corpse. That reminds me of uh, you guys see me just shrug at it. Like, eh, yeah, yeah, that reminds me of falls near this one's a room. When they <laughs> uh, went to a tourist trap, and it says "New Mummies Daily." Where did the mummies come from? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we're Steve. Uh, we're Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, doesn't that kind of look like Billy? Hmm. You know, guys, that corpse might actually be Billy. So, really? Yeah, look at him. You walk over. Kind of looks like him. It is. Is it Billy? It is Holy Billy. shit! It's fucking Billy, guys. Oh, we got a guard killed. Somebody the watch. Well, it's because he stole. <laughs> he stole, or he, somebody mugged him for the fifty gold he gave him. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, so don't in the watch for too missing. long. Yeah, right. He well, looks like got, a mugging. Yeah, he got too comfortable in the watch. Yeah, yeah, I knew he was gonna join the flame. Fire fists, whatever. Fucking fists. Ah, ah, good. There's uh, seriously something wrong with this city. Oh, it's you it's better all, believe it. You can it. almost assume that it's descending into hell. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it seems. See what I did there. Um. Anyways, so um. Uh, this she, is why I didn't join the watch. By the way, Raya looks at you and she says, "So we have to have a plan." Um. I've been scouting the area. Um. And there's definitely some stuff going on. Um. I haven't any movement. From anything see that's the thing is there isn't the guards aren't patrolling they're all static oh wow that and, yeah that's weird and, um, <laughs> wait a minute nobody has come out or gone in um from, at all since i've got here as in from the the, the duchess's compound. place yeah yeah okay which is unusual i guess i walked past and i guess i really didn't notice any guard movement there was no hmm. it's unusual when you were there yesterday there was they were patrolling, oh, they were, they, were, they, were they were they were being bi- they were busy now they're standing in attention kind of like the people from buckingham palace where they just stand there and they're mm-hmm. on guard that's all they do um yeah before they were very lax and were mo- wandering around so um she says i got a plan um i sent i, I think we should send somebody in uh, as a messenger to try to assess if the Duchess is still there. So to inquire. Because okay. if they're changing their plans, are they leaving? <clears throat> are they going somewhere? Is somebody coming there? Or is someone staying? Have they already left? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, now, once again, like I suspect, if in fact... Maybe there's a secret chamber inside, and they have, which is why they haven't come out. I think you're on to something, Chiron. Um, that would be the I mean, only explanation of why they've got no people coming in. Because I'm still a flaming fist. Maybe I can still get in somehow. Oh, uh, give me a history check because you're from Baldur's Gate. So I'm so, also proficient in history. Whew, yeah. My history is well, tough. I, mean, I got zero yeah, on history. Is there a but... reason why you would have history of Baldur's Gate specifically? I have an eleven. Um, I'd say so just basic information. You've heard you you've heard that <sighs> some uh, of the 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 dukes have gone out of their way to ensure that there are. Um, like um, escape tunnels and stuff in case of emergencies. So it's possible that there's a way in or out that isn't as obvious as the front doors. Mm. Um, but you've just heard rumors. You don't really know. Right. Um, so, and even um, then, if they're taking precautions, it might be blocked up anyway. Right. So so what is our, what is our plan of action, you guys? Well, How if I may this? interject real quick, I mean, I've lived in Baldur's Gate long enough. I mean, there could be some... It's possible. I'm not saying that the Duchess has it. I'm saying there might be something a way in that's not obviously directly the front door. It could be underground. It could be like a sewer tunnel styled thing. There could be maybe even the Duchess has like an actual escape route that goes out of the manor. But I don't know where, how. We should try to figure this if out. If it's built. Um, what about that informant? 
who found you, and maybe he could tell us something. Slick? <gasps> he might he might actually know. Wait, was that actually that was a great idea? <laughs> wow, good job, me. I thought of something. That's that's great. I didn't even think about it. I guess that. a hamster so everything had his wheel. Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> I may be an angel, but that's about Sorry, all. Sorry, his name's not Slick, <laughs> it's uh it's I don't Dungarin. She calls him Slick, but Dungarin was the informant, right? No, no, <laughs> no, that no. was the lieutenant. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Dungren's buff elf. Uh, so yeah, 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 buff elf. Okay, I got buff it. Buff elf. <laughs> you never. Oh, I never gave you the no, no. name to the informant. I got a better nickname no. for him, Lieutenant Buff Elf. <laughs> I like it. Uh, the guy. Yeah, the guy's we never did Slim. get his name. Okay, Slim Cognito. I think he, we did get to know his name is Slim. Maybe it's oh, like no. my name is Tough because it sounds like tough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, she says, "I think that's a great idea. We should find Slim and see if he knows anything." But do we even have enough time anymore? Uh, I don't know. It'll be tough. Um, luckily, I think I know where him and his horse might be. Okay. Was it a pony or a horse? I don't it was know. A horse. It was a horse. Um, I think I may know where he's at. Um, we probably, if we leave right now, we might be able to get to. But somebody needs to stay and keep an eye on. On the Duchess. Uh, well, on the compound just... as a whole to make sure nothing strange happens. Well, you seem to have way better eyes than I do. Maybe you should do it, <laughs> because apparently my eyesight has been bad. <laughs> I only got one. What about you? What do you got for perception? You got a four. Yep. I mean, who wants to go watch? I will keep watch. All right. Um, she goes, you may want to go somewhere else or do something with that corpse. Oh, poor Billy. Because <laughs> if somebody catches you here with it, they might think you did it. That Take it on your sense. way out. Kick it on my way out? Take it on your way <laughs> kick out. It on your way I was out. like, kick it? I mean, all right. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I guess I'll take care of it. It's my job anyway. All right. Um, so um, you guys start making your <laughs> way. Unfortunately, it's my job. <laughs> she starts leading you to um, uh, the as I'm, As I'm... <sighs> oh, fuck. Uh, do you get, so you're just going to carry it with you? You're going to dump it anywhere? Well... So you gotta at least take it outside yeah, of the low lantern. You're, 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 you're yeah. carrying it, and there's you pass a couple of the. Um, I, I look at some of the other flaming fists. Yeah. It's another one. Mm. Nice. Um, do you need us to take care of that for you, sir? You know yeah, what? I, yes. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, they might have something left on him still. Here, you can have them. It's all yours. There you go. Well, at least he doesn't stink yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised personally. Yeah, he must be fresh. I think I know him. Weirdly, I think huh. his name's Billy. He looks like a Billy. He really yeah, does. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So she, she guides you guys. She guides you around, and you um, you're passing in between guard different banter. Guard tunnels. And yep. you end I up, love being a guard. You end up finding uh, uh, Slim Cognito, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Um, and he goes, mm, "Welcome again." Yeah, because it's from the Russian and Clank series, actually. It is. I just played through that a few months ago. Hey. Yeah, uh, yes, what can I do for you, fellas? Um, he kind of his eyes darting back and forth. What so, can Slim do for you? We uh, really so loved your service his, last time. Voice. and it's uh, true, I'm fabulous. Yeah. I'm really good, I told you. I'm I got really people. good at your job. I, what do you need to know? Uh, you know the Duchess? The one, though. The, uh, what's her name again? Thalemra. 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 It's T-H-A-L-A-M-R-A. -A yeah, Thalemra, I guess. Thalemra. Yeah. Thalemra. Miss Know the house? I do. Everyone does. She's one okay. of the dukes. Great. So pretty important. Might person. know any way to know yes, the other I'm entrances. If I know, if you come on, man. Well, of I'm course. Not one of your petty. Well, I got a difference. There's three of them. But point is, anyways. Uh, any yes. might know a way in. That's not just the front door. I don't know, but I might know people who know. Sweet. How fast do you think we do it this time? Eight, twelve hours. <sighs> That's tough. That's too. I'm not there. Uh, 12 hours. How long is in the day yet? Do we have any kind of um, idea? You've only got a few hours of daylight before night hits. That might not be fast enough this time. Damn. Uh, well, for the right price, I think I can do an express and get it down to five hours. That still might Put be you at the front, long. front of the line. Well, I appreciate it. Digging up information. No, I know. Time. Yeah. I. It was kind of a long shot to begin with. but. So you're asking... So... It's it's got to be really quick, unfortunately, this time. It's got to be. Well, you could do the running yourself. I could send you to the person. 
how much would that cut down the time? It would cut down the time, I could, probably three hours at most, but it'll cost you. Is that within our time frame? Yes. Do we? The DM? Yes. Because I. Maybe. Okay. It's hard to tell. You don't know. No, you don't know. But right. There's more risk, right? At this point, you're sitting and you're observing, and you notice that during this process, yeah, several nice. different messengers and people oh, approach the think. doors, and you notice that they're all, every single one is turned away. I mean, you see food carts. Um, you see uh, noble cart, like cart, uh, carts really of noble people, time, I mean, noble women, noble men, whatever. Uh, harder, people almost as if they were scheduled trash, to be there. So, Some of yeah. them are, are making uh, these, the, they're throwing up their hands and they're screaming and yelling. You're too far away to hear. Would you move closer? No. Okay. So you can see. I'm not risking to get caught by these people after I get kicked out this morning. So you definitely can tell there's several people that were obviously expecting to be there. Um, but for some reason they're pissed off that they're not being allowed to do whatever it is they got to do. They're all frustrated. So something changed to the point that she's not letting anybody in, even those that would normally be expected. So, um, I would like to do something. Um, when, um, I would choose one of those scheduled visitors, mm -hmm. um, and after, and I would follow them after some distance away from the compound mm -hmm. and uh, try to inquire information about their visit, their attempted visit with the mansion, with the compound. Okay, so you uh, you end up following this nobleman with a food, with, not a nobleman, this merchant with a uh, a food cart full of just all kinds of fruits and stuff. Yeah. And he's, he's kind of just, you can hear him mumbling to himself as you approach. What do you say to him? Excuse me. So what? I'd like to ask you some questions about your attempted visit to the to the compound. Oh, don't get me started on that. Can you believe it? Every week I deliver my stuff, I get my money, and I go. Do you know how far I have to travel to make sure that crazy ass wench gets her stuff? And then she refuses to pay me or see me? This I food is all gonna spoil. I hear you. I've spent all night waiting for her last night to get uh Do you have a cart of valuable food? No. But it was important. Then it's not the same. So don't pretend that you understand my plight. Because <laughs> you don't. You have no idea. Fucking You're right. Man. I don't have it in a, any idea. I don't think much problem. But but do you want to buy a cart of food? No. I don't, have, I don't think I have the coin for that. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've been serving that woman for four years. Every single week, I journey from my home. Wow. Takes me four days to get here. It's kind of rough. Yeah, I know. You're not there. <laughs> I'm not there, but that's rough. <laughs> what is it you want? It, My God, it, what am I supposed to do around here? This, is this whole place is going to hell. As, this is very unusual for her, is it? Were you not just listening? Four years, every week. Don't take that as a yes. She knows that I struggle if I don't. She's my only customer. That was the requirement from her. Not so to not get a payment is a problem. She won't let me in. Why? Because she's got plans. She's busy. All I have to do is drop off the food on the cart. Plans? What plans? I don't know. I'm just a merchant. <clears throat> now I got to go to this through the slums of this nasty ass city and try to sell this shit that nobody can afford, which means it's going to be at discounted rate, which means I'm not going to get my money's worth. You know what that woman can do? The Duchess can shove it up her old crotchety ass. <laughs> yeah. She did seem kind of rude. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, back to you guys. Slim looks at you guys as well. I'll tell you what. Slim's got you guys covered. I can give you the location of my source. Right? You can go talk to him. Right. You said it was going to be a lot of coin, though. How much? 100 gold pieces. <laughs> You guys are going through your money quick. Yeah, I, that's why I'm not spending anything. <laughs> yeah, he still has. I know money. he's spent a lot. I don't know about him. I've spent quite a bit, but I'm about to spend twenty bucks, twenty. I give away twenty gold for the. I'm merchant. going to persuade. Okay. That I'm a reincurry customer, and I would like a discounted price. <laughs> Seriously, this is all you're. I saying. feel like that's fair. Oh, it's eleven. He lost by one. <laughs> that's so fucked. Um, all right, so um. 
Wait, isn't he says, 11? He says I can't do that. Uh, Persuasion. No, yeah, I'm 11. What you're asking for, I, I, I can't do that. You gotta understand. My sources are my lifeline. But right. this one, I'm happy. I'm happy to share just because um, he's a little more open to strangers. Plus, if you tell him Slim sent you, it'll be okay. But he's he's very notorious and understands lots of the sewer system. Okay. Um, and he actually used to work um, underneath. Uh, Thalamra, when she was actually um, the head of the sewer system. Oh, wow. Okay. At so. least a, definitely a good source. Okay. Yeah, um, so he'll be able to tell you any of that stuff. Because I'm pretty sure that, um, and I, I could be mistaken, my information is like, remember, you know, I don't want to give away too much right, information right, right, for right. free because I'm being generous. But, yet. Um, you know, she grew up in that that situation of the, the sewers and everything. And I think that her home was is somehow tied to all that. So okay. I don't know that. I just heard that. Um, it's hard to leave that life behind, even when you work hard to crawl out. I can't so. believe I fucked it by one. <laughs> Damn. Um, all right. So uh, if I give you guys the instructions, Merle, do you think you can handle this? Yep. All right. So he he starts scribbling out some stuff. Where's my money? I pay it. You're going to pay it? So I'll take that off. I'll, I'll pay 50 of it. No. No? No. He's like, you got it. Sure. He's being benevolent, so I'll take it. I mean, I'm lawful. Um, even so he gives like you some instructions to, um, but... to a very sketchy peer place in town. Like, I, I the, recognize, recognize that. Recognize. I'm like, oh. This is like the slum of the slums. Like, this is like the Rat King's territory. I I do one of these. I take off my mask and hold the pamphlet again. <laughs> this really the place? Yeah. Just ask for the Rat King. Do, 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 I hand do, it back do, to him and I. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do you guys have All any right. more questions for me? No, nah, that's moment. it. Yeah. All, All right. right. Also, um, on your way out, watch out for the dung. I haven't cleaned it up yet. And there's just a big giant. <laughs> just a giant. From the horse. Um, so you're, Appreciate it. You're See you later, man. The, uh, you're talking to the um, food merchant. Food oh. merchant. He well, says, well, oh. I, well, I don't know how much she pays you every week that you come here. But this is for your troubles, and I hand him twenty gold. Fuck, I keep dropping shit. Do you want some fruit? <laughs> There's plenty. Take what you want. I appreciate this. This really will make it at least so I can survive another week. Mm, it's not right. as much as I normally get, but it's better than nothing. So I'll um, give you, I'll give you a piece of advice. I'll give you a piece of advice. Man, it's gonna be a good guy. Stay away from that thing. Stay away from that place. There's some creepy stuff that goes on there when I visit. Oh, There's I believe weird, it. weird screams and stuff coming from the basements and and chanting and some. I'm telling you, there's that woman does some weird stuff there. All right, I um, just got requests for this exotic fruit and stuff. So good. And you recognize some of the stuff that was fed to you while you were there. Yeah. Um, succulent ingredients for food. the stuff that we ate. Mm -hmm. So um he he says he says um and if you have an op if you have a choice avoid the duchess at all costs she's there's something not right about her oh I believe you on that regard something not right about her I'm telling you she's got she's got some <laughs> something's up <laughs> yeah I yeah. I'm telling you she wears some weird jewelry she's got some strange strange tattoos stay away from her if you can. But I've noticed those tattoos when she flexed up or nope. something. Oh, hmm. that's a real good question. <laughs> tattoos, you say? Well, I had to get form my relationship with her somehow. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like hmm. to talk about it. But, uh, <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, you don't I need to. to. Take over the um, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take so over here's the what you acquired from her. She's she's basically screams from the basement, yep. chanting, chanting. Okay, tattoos, okay, 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 okay. and odd places. Mm. Yes. Uh, all right. So <laughs> you guys uh, make your way through town again, and you come. Ooh, what are what are the fruits that he was trying to sell her? Oh, I don't know. Fucking fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's supposed to be like exotic fruit. Tamacos. Right? I don't know what it is. And I don't Tamacos. Know. Um, I know a good reference. What are those fruit that you get oh, at the store get... that look like alien creatures? You know what I'm talking about? With all like little pokies and stuff. It's one of those, some bunch of those. Um, <laughs> you actually got that reference. Well, I was going to reference um, a fruit from <laughs> no, no, uh, Tamacos. No, I, I thought it was a fun word. Critical role. That's kind of fruit. Which admittedly it is. Um, yeah. 
It's basically that doesn't it's like, like a tomato and a taco. Uh, Some spiky. Sounds fruit. like not like a pineapple. Tobacco it's actually. Kind of oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Oops. Uh, See, it's shit like that 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 I think makes Matt really good. Boy, he thinks of things like that. And I'm just like, it's fucking fruit. I don't care. Let's move on. <laughs> but he brings those details to life. Mm. Um. So, uh, so you guys are making your way in and out through the uh, through the the city, yeah. and you come to the most rundown, almost outhouse looking shack. It's just this little itty bitty thing. Let's hope that there's no mimic in there. <laughs> this seems like the place. It's got the sigil on the side that it says in the, the note what you're looking for. Did it say room. what to what to say when I get there? Like what uh, to do? It'll like give any you special a knock, knock 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 batter. Okay. Do, does a proud warlock have step out? No. <laughs> you knock on it. You hear a faint echo of yelling. What? what? Slim Cognito sent us. Come on in. in, in. Easier than I thought. I walk on in. <laughs> um, you see a like a mystical um, blue sparkle barrier disappear from the door. Oh wow! Cool. And because you and, mm -hmm. and, and you, know, you open it and it's like a telephone booth size room. It's bigger on the inside. <laughs> and you see this giant, this giant. I don't say giant. This big sigil on the ground. Um, give me an Arcana check. Sure as fuck I ain't gonna know it. Oh, now I roll good 25. Uh, you recognize it as some sort of uh, teleportation, um, some sort of teleportation circle. Oh, okay. That's um, and you notice that the voice is coming from a magic mouth on the inside. Ah. Um, huh. This is a good setup. <laughs> surprisingly advanced, actually. Yep. Um, so do you guys, you guys enter? Yeah. You guys yeah, huddle into yeah. this little area oh. and the, you shut the door behind you <clears throat> and the magic mouth moves and says, all right, hold on to your testes. Hey. And, uh, you guys start to kind of dissipate <laughs> this light engulfs you and poof, you're in this big giant, um, sewer. And you're, you can see that same sigil right below you. Somebody has set up a teleportation circle between these two locations. And he says, Brilliant. What do you want? And you see the most terrifying thing. A half humanoid, half rat guy. Um, Splinter! No, no, not Splinter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of imagined it too. <laughs> um, he's the rat king. He is some sort of some weird hybrid from human and rat. A were a were rat, I think. I guess a called. were rat. He's okay. a were rat. He says, "All right, what do you need? Hmm? Huh? What? What do you need? Do you need? What do you need? Come, uh, on. Big, Come on! I don't have all day. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I got a lot of things to do, and I ain't got time to be messing around. Let's go! What do you got? We gotta go to the manor. What? We need to break into the Duchess manor. Alamra. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh, you're gonna have to pay up though. Where he uh, did? I, I can take no, no. You didn't pay me nothing. I'm gonna show you where the entrance is and how to get in. It costs you money. Uh, Slim! <laughs> he only agreed to pay you where to go. He never said yeah. anything about the information. You, you just see he pulled a kind of a fast one on you. He, I mean, he gave you what he said he was going to. That's fair. Yeah, that's true. Um, he said, all right, yeah, so you, you'll have to pay me. Um, it'll be uh, 50, 50 gold. Sorry, for you, because your buddy's a Slim, 45 gold pieces. Super simple. I'll get you right in. I know exactly where you got to go. We got this. We can do this. I ain't got all day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do you got? Okay. I fork over the fucking money. <laughs> Forty-five. Right. I don't care. So, so, how much money does everyone have remaining? I have, I have eight hundred and forty. I have six hundred and something. Same as Ian. Okay, so you guys are doing six hundred and thirty. Right. You guys, you guys have. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm still doing. By the way, I thank goodness for Wik for fandom Wikipedia pages because I looked at that fruit. Oh, uh, yeah, the Kodak fruit, a fruit that looks like a mango with a spiny, rough exterior. Difficult to hold, but has a delightful flavor. There yeah. You go. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so um, so he says, "All right, oh, we got a deal. We got a deal. You got a deal. Oh, seventy-five gold." He bites into it. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Ooh, hey, doesn't taste like urine. That's nice. That's different. <laughs> got so from the watch guy, it. actually. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're gonna do. So um, I've got the maps, and he walks you into down the sewers through the water, and the sludge is just spewing into your boots and everything. As the if we're smell, not already used to this. The smell is rancid, so I need constitution saves. I'm really? I'm hovering over the... If <laughs> you fail, you're poisoned unless you're immune to poison. I don't think either of you are immune to poison. Nope. Right? I'm, I'm not there. No, no divine health. I'm no, not. diseases, I think. 
It's not poisonous. They're not the same. Yeah. I'm hovering over the water. So. Oh, you can float? Yeah. Oh, that's right. 15. All right. Um. So just you then. Um. You're okay. <laughs> the The smell is getting to you. You you barf in your mouth and you quickly swallow it back down. Football is I'm fine. Ooh. Ooh. Kidding me. Hey, Vegeta. I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Fucking stinks down here. And I don't feel so good walking through this. Hey, no, I, I don't come to your house and tell you how nasty it smells. Don't come into my house and tell me how nasty it smells. It smells delicious. You smell that? And his little, like, rat nose twitches with his little whiskers. Oh, he's still there? <laughs> yeah, he's going. He's like, Let's go. Um, So he leads you into a room, and you just see an entire room. Everywhere is sprawled with maps of the city. Holy but fuck. The maps also have, like, dotted lines on them that don't match the roads. So this is the sewer system. Yes. Um, the plumbing. He says, yeah, yeah. So he starts pointing around. He says, right here, if you go right in here, she's got a little, um, this is where the, the raw sewage is. There's a gate there, though. Uh, a, a big giant, uh, I don't it's want to like say some, port, some steel, some steel gates. Um, they're pretty common coming outside of the big manors. Um, I don't know what you're going to do to get past that. I'm sure you can come up with something, but that should take you in towards their, um, the plan. their, uh, their, 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 Your uh, face. underneath their, um, Seems their uh, business, uh, I'll burn their, it. Their, their, their building. Um, that's, that's it. That's all in it. That's super easy. He's, he basically just gave you a map. Now you okay. guys gotta. You can't take it with you. So do you have any way to keep track of it? You can draw draw it out. Um, I guess I, this guy. Yeah. Um. Give me a. What would that be? An intelligence check, probably. Sure. Can I use the help action on him? Assist him with it. He's like, yeah, your line's not really straight, asshole. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Do it with advantage. Because let's be honest, if somebody gave you a map and you tried to draw, how good would it really be? So I'm gonna think that's worth a check. All right, I my intelligence modifier, that'd be a 21. Um, yeah, so you get this pretty good one. You decide, eh, you just put your 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 stuff right over top of it and try to, yeah. try to trace it out real trace quick. Over it. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's good enough. It's like, oh, that's pretty good. If you're ever looking for a map business, I can use more help. Well, I do draw blueprints all the time, so. That explains it. <laughs> I kind of wanted to ask about the little gadgets you got on you, but I ain't got time for that because I got things I got to do. I got a mil million people asking for stuff, yep. and the sewers are just full of awesome and stuff to keep me busy. So that being said, or if you're done, get the hell out. He snaps his fingers. Yep. Um, and, uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to make him do that. I was going to have him put you to sleep and drag you out of here, but um, he, he wishes you back. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Get back to your circle and get the hell out of here. Say, now, you need to goodness. make a deal with me. And he uh, he snaps his fingers, and a zone of truth appears around you guys. He says, "Slim trusted you, so I'm going to trust you. All right, you yep. got that? Good, yep. good, good, yep. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. tell yeah. anybody about this place, okay? Tell you me do that. What place? Yeah, where? What place? All right, I'm, keep, I'm trusting you. So that means if you need anything back, you guys got the code. You come and knock. Yep, we'll help each other out. You help me, I help you. We win. Great, right? I say we're in a great relationship right now. Yep, sounds great. If you need anything, you let me know. We'll do. And get the hell out of here. Okay, cool. All right, you yep. guys go into your little circle. Um, he says some magic words and whole thing of blue. Next thing you know, you're back inside this little tiny thing. And the magic mouth says, all right, guys, get out of here now. Go, 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 go. Don't, uh, I'm, the spell locks in about 13 seconds. So hurry up. Oh, fuck. There's a <laughs> been with them the whole time. Uh, she waited outside. Ah. Oh. Wasn't enough room for it, but I didn't bother. Rhea just that. comes out. I'm just like. So we got I'm trying map. not to play. The, the the character super imposing mm -hmm. like because that's something DMs usually do where the DMPC is a little yeah too controlling so I'm trying to make sure I keep away from that. Um, I go to Rio. Like what the what the hell is that smell? You sewer. Yeah. Uh, long story. Sewer. It's just like a long long story. Good news. We have a map. Show her the map. The map for that. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, how did you get that? Like, drew it. She goes to open the door, and then like a blue spark of energy shot. The hell? Don't ask. A lot of things. Okay. We're not Baldur's Gate stuff. All right, let's not go. We're running stuff. out of time. Yep. It's been a couple go. hours. It's it, dark is is upon us. We gotta run. Um, so at this point, um, I'm opening the cup, the kurak food, and <laughs> just take it carefully. He's just it's just having a nice that. time. <laughs> He's just having a good time, like, yeah, and just enjoying carefully. It. Meanwhile, we're like, hiding it because it's oh because it, it's uh, difficult to handle. But once I got the handle of it, uh, take my dagger, cut it, he has a chop a little speed piece, and just take a yeah. bite of the inside. It's like, a bite out of crime, yeah. 
It was a legitimate mm. deal. Uh, yeah, I, uh, okay. So uh, as you're sitting there enjoying this fruit, this nasty, rancid smell assaults your nose, and you think it's coming from your fruit, but you look over just as they come through the door, and you're like, oh. <laughs> what the heck have you been crawling into? We can't. So we're, we're not allowed to say, really, but we have a map. You do? Yeah. yeah. How? Drew it. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, we drew it. I mean, it's really... Whatever. Yeah. You found a place to get us inside? Yep. Uh, not, yeah, a passageway, a sewer. So, I spoke to a Man, merchant was who disgusting. was shunned away by the guards. He wasn't happy. It took him four days to get here. That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> he said that she has some very odd interests. He heard screams from basements. He heard chanting. And during his personal visits with her he noticed that there were some tattoos that we did not see checks out mm. okay checks out for what though great question demon crap you know if i could <laughs> i was gonna say if i couldn't tell from the the devil chairs the imps i'm assuming there's some demon shit going Would that on that sound familiar for chiron because he was raised in a temple what was the focus of the temple Great uh, question. That is something it was, that's very relevant. Yeah. Is it well, knowledge of um, fiends and demons and devils. Um, well, you would have to see the tattoos. Right. So right. you know that it's not uncommon for cultists to get tattoos of those that they follow. Like you've you've run into team at followers that have like like even Bahamut followers might have even uh, tattoos like on dragon them. Dragon head yeah. tattoos and stuff. So yeah. so it's not uncommon for a cultist to have a tattoo. So that leads you down that path that she's might maybe she's a cultist of leading down that assumption yeah. and all that. But since you haven't seen the tattoo, you can't identify it or anything. Right. Yeah. He just said she's got some creepy ass tattoos, basically. Yeah. So anyways, so um good an upside down story. You guys are running out, you notice there hasn't been a whole lot of information or a lot of uh action. Movement, yeah. Um <laughs> You guys make your way, uh, follow the instructions of the map. Through the sewer! Uh, through the sewer. I Gotta need... Some Ninja Turtles. I need, uh, uh, once Another again... Another con save? A constitution save. Uh, DC's 10. For everyone? Can it really everyone. be as bad as the wreck? <laughs> Do I really have to roll it again? It's raw sewage you're swimming through, man. Up that to your bad. waist. I'm floating. <laughs> so you get advantage then because the smell is still gonna make you sick. These wings fine, I got a out like crazy. No, you know what? Inspiration. 12. I'm gonna finally use this oh, thing. A one in the twenty. Because I'm not <laughs> sticking with a five. <laughs> Going fucking higher. There. Twenty-one. <laughs> okay, so um you are poisoned. I got a twelve. I know. You are poisoned. You said beat ten. Did I? Yeah. Wasn't it didn't I give you ten already? It should have gone up by five if you went into it again, but it would be ten for him, so he's right. Yeah. So you guys are all fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so, yeah, because it's supposed the longer you're in, the higher the DC goes up. Uh, but you actually hadn't been in there. Yeah. They did already. Yeah. So it went up for them, not for you. Um, so, uh, so did you both beat 15? Yes, 21. Okay. Um, so you're, everyone's good. The smell is really rancid. Your clothes mm. are starting to absorb it. You're choking on the smell. <laughs> Um, I'm your eyes are burning, shit, man. I'm um, and you can just—you've got uh, in, in the back. Raya has a mask pulled over. She looks like a fucking ninja with her mask pulled over, and she's gagging. And uh, she pulls it down and barfs right into the, the ground. And she's starting to she's shaking. She's like, "Oh my, I can't. It's it's horrible. Can somebody do anything about that smell?" I wish. Um, no. So you guys are wading waist deep through shit, Mr. Floater over here. Ah, you're a floater in sewage. Yep. Ah. <laughs> That's, funny. That's a good one. Um, so you guys come up and you get to the end right where the um, the uh, map suggests, and there is just massive bars, and the sewage is spewing out of them. I... Because searing smite. Oh. I have a plan to get through it, though. Write it down and save it for later. That's so dumb. <laughs> I was going to be like, I have a spear, and I'm going to use Searing Smite Real on my spear because it's combat. white hot metal, and it'll cut through it. Unfortunately. You can do that. Yeah. Next, next week. Next, next time. Week. Oh, Dragon. Oh, well, no, not next week. week. Well, two weeks from now. Uh, anyways, so. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited to go with my plan. <laughs> You'll still go with your plan. It just needs to go in. <laughs> um, so. Surprisingly, no encounters. Like, 
like well the, the, we the, almost the got into a combat Con, that's what i mean combat I say, there was several social encounters i didn't give you any puzzles yet that's the what you're about to try to overcome but, oh jeez. um it's getting kind of late so yeah um well, I think that'll do it for today. Um, I Quite absolutely really enjoyed this enjoyed this session. I'm very <laughs> much on role play. We did that was a long rest week we got, right? Yeah. Yeah. In yeah, the was, morning? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I was just making sure because yep. I was like, I want to know if I got my spells um, So uh, that'll do it for part two of our descent into Avernus uh, actual play. Um, we're we're still live. I'm grabbing my dice that's on the floor. Oh. Drop one. I, was like, I thought you were leaving. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're no, not, no, not no. done yet. <laughs> um, so uh, once again, uh, I have made quite a few changes in this, but we are following the overall arcing plot of this. Um, I'm really excited to see where this goes and see how they deal with um, the Duchess and her um, the, the location of the Overseer. In her demon lair. In her demon lair. <laughs> Um, We're gonna so demons. what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go down the line uh, down the line um, and tell us who you are and what you enjoyed about the game and what you look forward to starting with Ian. Uh, once again, I'm Ian. I played the Merle, and I definitely enjoyed uh, trying to figure out how to work out this puzzle about how to break into this uh, heater mansion here. <laughs> right, yeah, because it's can't, you can't just march in and destroy everything. I probably could have fl flow, flew over, but... <laughs> you could have, but then you'd be all by yourself. But yeah, that's a good one. I'm excited to see how this goes, because there's some fun stuff coming up. Uh, you can expect a lot of combat, probably, in the yeah. next one. Yeah, we're excited. We're both probably excited um, about that. Uh, what about you? Uh, I'm Austin. Hi. Um, <laughs> uh, I was playing Zorax. Uh, definitely didn't get to do too much this time around. Uh, I feel like I was kind of more middle of the road in most cases. Is that because uh, of the character itself, or because I think it's uh, just my roles, honestly. Like I just didn't yeah, roll super roll high quickly. this time around. But I mean, no damage done. I got through a lot of the shit, literally. Um, <laughs> and you know, at the end of the day, I mean, I got us through some most of the guards, kind of. I really well, thought I thought you were gonna attack those little fuckers. I was really, I was this like, close. oh my god, you might get everyone killed. <laughs> Or at least my, try to explain my what. anger was seething for those damn things uh, in character, of course. But uh, no, I'm not doing it. But yeah, uh, definitely a combat oriented character. So we'll see, we'll see if I first do a little bit better next time. What about you, Matt? My yeah. name is Matthew, and I played Chiron, Ooh, the good. Tiefling Paladin. Um, uh, I enjoyed getting back uh, with these Yahoos after a month away. Uh, yeah, I guess for you it was a month for us, not so much. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. see each other all the time. Now, but, yeah, yep. yep. Um, but it, that was a great um, encounter. Not exactly a combat encounter, but almost an encounter. <laughs> it felt like a combat encounter, honestly. My butthole puckered up. I'm going to be honest. I really thought you guys were going to end up going to battle, and I'm just like, oh my God, they're going to get outnumbered. But then I was <laughs> kind of wondering, like, if it does happen, how are they going to get out of the situation? Oh, I was probably gonna have outside, to hold the line. That was it. And then say, these two are probably the guards on run. the outside aren't the only. No, no, the only ones. Yeah, and I. Well, I guess we, me and you, have Misty Step. We probably could have gotten out. No, because I was. He can fly. And he can fly. No, yeah. I was out of second level spells from our last session. Oh yeah. So it wouldn't have worked. I would have right into the the. You didn't rest before. We would have. We would have had. I would have had to take in Rhea and just jump out that. Well, window. do you know command? You probably like command a couple of them to surrender real quick while you're running. You can only affect one person with that. Yeah, at a time, but just use multiple uses of it. I mean, I if it's have life three and death, uses left. I would only have maybe. maybe. All right. Well, anyways, um, that's our. Uh, it didn't happen, so we're two. lucky for that. Yep. Um, we hope you will join us for our our podcast, which is Crit Academy, a D and D discussion podcast that we run every single Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. We talk Dungeon Master tips, player tips. Our main topic is a rolling topic. That's we get some something different. player options in there, too. Yep, we do well, I guess this, DM options. I I'm guess. really excited for uh, this week. We're talking uh, uh, Deadly, Deadly Dungeon, Dungeon Doors. Doors. Yeah. So that's exciting. There's some good shit in there. Yeah, uh, he Deadly has experience with Deadly Dungeon Doors, actually, with his soul getting snatched from a spectral arm coming through it. Oh, those type of Dungeon Doors. Well, yeah. hopefully this time it's not an actual spectral arm that will literally... Well, it was a specter. So. A specter, which says when it brings you out to zero, you're that's dead. That's true, yeah. It or it could be a mimic experience. with a long... And it punched through the door. Yeah, and it punched through the door. That just snatches you and pulls you in. 
yeah, there's some really good stuff. So I'm excited to talk about that. Yeah. We, if you don't know, we do have a website. You can head on over to CritAcademy.com. We have a collection of best-selling products uh, there you can find. We also have our new store that sells merch and specifically some baller-ass dice. Which we have. We didn't yeah. actually use them this time around. Yeah, no, they're, they're really good. What do you think of them? I like nice, the right? red and black ones for sure. I guess yeah. that's probably because they remind me of the Avernus ones. Yeah, that I have. they definitely they definitely do look very similar, don't they? Yours look uh, a little better. Yours look nicer. These are looker. They look, they're redder yeah. Yeah. more than. Uh, anyways, but... so definitely consider checking us out if you enjoy this. Um, make sure to follow us on Twitch and YouTube and social Facebook media and yeah. everything. Yeah, we're everywhere actually yeah, now. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Pat Flynn everywhere method. If you would like to win prizes every week, we give away free stuff. So just go and sign up at CritAcademy.com. Mm -hmm. By signing up, you'll actually get a PDF of some of our favorite resources that we use. So. Which could include the Voidwalker, which I am currently playing. So if you like the idea of commanding things to stop and teleporting like crazy, do that. Yeah. It's so, not quite like a vengeance paladin. That'll do it for our show, everyone. Let's uh, wave goodbye and we'll end the songs. Thank you for joining yeah. us, everyone. Yep. Keep your blade sharp and spells prepared.